Hello everybody! Welcome back. The pub is open again. Let's have a drink. So Random's had my share? Good man. Long somebody did. Yes! The lights are on! We're back! It was almost four days with no power. And we are back. Feel free to jump on into the pub. Link is posted up top as usual. Give us a thumbs up. Good day. If sound and video is good. Steam face. Steam face. Just said welcome back, Ken. Thanks, Steam face. It's awesome to be back. And that's my second little sippy sip. And it's bloody good. Badness. Yeah, there's still a lot of people without power. Um, the missus just told me the stats of the amount of houses that have been destroyed, the amount that have been damaged, and people without power, and yeah, it's, it's still a shit storm. We were lucky. I mean, most of Jolton was pretty lucky, but literally Good day. 50 k's north really Lilith got hit. Morgan. Thanks, Lilith. Cheers. But yeah, it's awesome to be back. I must admit. I missed you guys. Hmm. <laughs> Good day. Simon Del Vecchia. So we'll jump on in a few minutes and welcome us back. Nice. Good day. Charles Ashworth. Good day, Charles. Hey, you. Hey, me. <laughs> so what did that go through? Speak. Fucking cyclone can eat my taint with a stupid brown eye. It certainly did do a big fucking dump. Shat all over the place. But it's all good now. We've got the military here. we got heaps and heaps of... Uh, Emergency services, like 500 emergency services come up from up north. First time watcher, a long time watchee. Nice. Um, yeah, we've got the ADF. They've come over from the east and come up from down south. Including the local, um, North Horse, not North Horse, um, Purple Regiment boys. Nothing wrong with drinking rye. Drink what you want. Ain't no good. Discrimination here. As long as it's got fucking alcohol in it, drink it. And if you're in a place where it's some silly hour in the morning and you can't drink alcohol, as long as you've got some liquid beverage in your hand with a coffee, tea, water, whatever, who gives a shit? I am. I was looking at my selection and I was like, what am I going to have my first pour? And I was like, I just want to start with something light. And, and I thought, oh, I haven't had Green Label for a while, so I'm, and I'm really enjoying this. I can definitely pick up the Link more. Linkwood and the Cragamore. The slurred Linkmore into two distilleries under one word. Glad to make it to the month of pub. I'm glad you're in the month of pub. So guys, feel free to jump on in. The link is up there. Don't be shy. Come into the pub. Have a dream. If you can. Yep, the good old green label. Don't mind it at all. It's only good Johnny Walker, other than that sample trade blend, but you can't really count that because it's, you know, it's not one of the regulars. But yeah, this is always a good dram. It would be nice if ABV was a bit higher, but. Eh. In bed, East Coast. Yep. That makes sense. Water bottle of Jason's Chaos Mates, I found that's pretty good, yep. To my new palette, it tastes similar to the regular Jones in the beginning, but with a floral, hoppy finish. Very good. Yeah, yeah. You can watch our review. We did one of the castmates compared to the 12. I mean, not the 12, the regular Jones. Haven't got the 12 Jones, of course, should Yeah, it's, it's very similar, but it does have that little bit of a. I think we've got. Yeah, like a malty, caramel. Um, coffee kind of note, I think that's what people have said. The salt of your bottle of it pretty hard. Good! 
That's what we like to hear. Let's salt that bottle. Long time bourbon drinker. What's something I can drink that's not too scotchy? As in Scotch World? I mean, if you like bourbon, just drink bourbon. But if you want to dive over to this world, it all depends what, what kind of bourbons do you like? I mean, do you like sweet ones? Do you like spicy rice? Do you like low AV, high AV? It really depends what you want. I mean, when it comes down to trying scotches, you just... It's probably not ideal just to grab a bottle because either you're going to like it or you're not. You need to sit with that bottle and really enjoy it. I mean, not enjoy it, but explore it. But, you know, it might not be for you. You need to have a few different samples of stuff. So if you can buy a bunch of samples of stuff, or go to someone who has scotch. That's the best way to do it. Go to someone who, that you know has... You don't like Pete? Yep, that's fine. Go to someone who has scotch, sit down with them, and you just explore a few bottles. That's the best way to do it. If you like Irish? Well, there you go. If you like Irish, you can easily transition over because Irish is, you know, light. Uh, a lot of sweet, light, fruity kind of notes in there. Butter scotch and all that. So there's definitely an easy transition from Irish into scotch. You can get some nice light stuff. Like, for example, that link bottle I'm talking about that's in here. Yeah, monkey shoulder. Or even, grab this. Grab this. This is not going to break your bank. It's got a bit of everything in there. Yep, Glen Livet, Glen Ranji, all of those little entry stuff. Hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Picking up a shitload of that linkwood in Cragamore. So someone just dinged me. So best be seeing what the hell that is. Uh, okay, that's it. It's time to load, and I've spent many, many retries. So, my mate Bazza, still waiting on power, reconnect, so he's out of town a little bit. He's still waiting for power, unless we have mobile service now. So, he's in the same boat. He's still got no power. Like the phone service here is still kind of dodgy. Yeah, Johnny Walker. Nothing wrong with Johnny Walker. This one. This is the only one that's worth talking about. And that celebratory blend. They are good. The rest, bullshit. Oh yeah. Now, if you like Irish, I'd, I'd grab yeah, Linkwood, a Clone Leash, um, Cragamore, anything of those. Nice light honeyed notes. What kind of Irish do you like drinking? And that's another question. Because if you like the wine finish type stuff, there's some really good wine type finish scotches you can try. Yeah, see, I disagree. I mean, on last few streams ago, I tried to appreciate the Black Label. Nah. Couldn't do it. It's fucking shit. There's just nothing there. I mean, if you're going to stick it in a rocks glass with a couple of stones in it or a bit of ice, that's fine. If you just want to sip a sip, but me personally, if I'm going to do that, I'd, I'd rather have a monkey shoulder or something like this. It's got a little bit of complexity in it. The black label. I, I tried the, the double black. And it's just boring. It's batshit. There's just nothing in it. There's so many better whiskies for that price. I mean, Naked Grouse, for example. So many better whiskies. I mean, any of the... If you're Murray... They're better for the price. And they're cheaper. I mean, how much is a bottle of bloody double black? It's like 50, 60 bucks, I think. Something like that, isn't it? If I remember correctly. It's around that. For that, I, you know, I'd, I'd rather grab the Arborellis or the Glen Grant or the Glen Grant 10. 
Blackbush. Any of those. So much better. In a pinch, there's nothing better at the bar. Yeah, I mean, you're always going to have some James, and I'd rather have that. Good day. G'day, Aaron. How you going, mate? Aaron Hardiman. I mean, if they've got black, that means they're going to have something like Chunks and Glen Livet, Glen Fetish. I'd have those over the black any time. I mean, I'm thinking of pouring all those blacks and double blacks into my bloody cask. I'm going to have to make something out of it. You would go black over Jameson? Yeah, I'd be about aware of Hell yeah, Jameson's good shit. Now that we're talking about it, I'm gonna bloody have some. After this pork. To shizzle. Back up a second. And the cool thing about today, I don't have to have the fan on. And this isn't hot. It's actually room temperature. It's not hot. I'm happy about that. Well, I finished my bottle of Jameson. That's why I got a one litre bottle. And was surprised how good the last glass was. Yep. I could show you a few dives that whiskey selection was Jack, Jim and Black. See, I'm surprised that They've got black, because normally a place like this just going to have red lab. You got up, always drink. That's what I mean, because black label, you know, is above red. If it's going to be a dive, you would think, I've been to many places and they've just got red. Not even Jameson. They'd have red label and maybe a glenthitic, and that was about it. I and mean, if I saw a black label, you were like, oh, they're not a complete dive. The chair has appeared. Yeah, Johnny Walker would be fancy to some places. Fancy dive bar. Well, you we can't tell him to change his shirt because we haven't seen his shirt yet. <laughs> it's the Simon chair. Right, is anyone else going to come in? Come on, Randy. Aaron, crossing you. Yeah, good day, Simon's chair. <laughs> he kind of hears. Oh, here he is. It's the man himself. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How you going, mate? <laughs> yeah, not to bad yourself. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Welcome back to the pub. <laughs> yeah, no, good to see you. You got your power, mate. Bloody oath. I was all happy yesterday when it came on about four o'clock and then four hours later, boom, Good day. gone. Chris Tats. <laughs> g'day, Chris. How you going, mate? Yeah, g'day, Chris. From Briscoe. 
He's got after bands. Nice. Evening, I'm Aaron. A green label at the moment. Green label. No, I'm on the um. What are you on? The bushy oh, sixteen. Mm. I still haven't, I haven't, it. haven't had it for a while. <laughs> yeah, well, it was the same. I haven't had this for a while. I think the last time I had it was when we did that Irish stream. So yeah. Oh yeah. That's mm. been a shitload of sweetness out of this. A shitload of. Like, um. Damn, what is it? Not sure. Is it a fruit or a oh. toffee sweetness? Nah, it's, it's like a fruit, but I'm trying to pick what fruit. I was going to say lemony, but I was like, nah, it's more like a. A rock melon. It's kind of in between a lemon and a rock melon. Ah, lemon and rock melon. Yeah, it's kind of weird. That's why I was trying to pinpoint it. Mm. Smells nice. Yeah, well, that's it. What do you reckon that's from? The um, Kraganor or Cardu? Or oh, sorry, what have they got? Linkwood. 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 Yeah, yeah. Linkwood. Yep. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting a shitload of that Linkwood and Kraganor coming through. Not so much of the Kowloon and Talisco tonight, but that could be because it's halfway down the bottom and it's probably all evaporated. Mm. I was really getting the Telescope notes from it last night. Oh, nice. Okay. I mean, on the finish, I get a little bit, but on the palette, I'm just getting Crag and Morgan. Which Bush Mills would do more about 46 other than their 20, 28 year old? Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, even this 16, it's only 40%. Yeah, exactly. It's a little shame. Actually, but at the yeah, same yeah, yeah. time, for. We're only paying, I mean, one twenty Australian for a sixteen-year-old Irish. That's that's not too bad. Yeah. Still. Yeah. No, nah, it just would be nice to have a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. And this is um, that sideways thing drives me up the wall, man. I see, he just doesn't like it. See, this is forty-seven point two, so they can do it. Oh, Darwin Cup in August? Nice. Mm. I want to go up there in November for just before the wet season when they have all the lightning. Oh, yeah. The only problem with the lightning up in Darwin, it's usually over by sunset. I can't pick up the individual flavour that smells from the whiskey, so I keep closing my eyes and smelling it, trying to find something familiar in there. It's just practice, man. you just got to drink more. Yeah. <laughs> I well, mean, what uh, more excuse yeah. do you need to drink more? I mean, random FP, be, what are you actually getting? Like, what's just the first thing that jumps into your head? Yeah, what kind of character is it? Yeah, yeah really, just, just come to playing with, experiencing it, <laughs> adding water, leaving it, you know, limiting the glass, let it open up a bit, um, just stretching it out. I mean, that's more, Roger that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you do actually. I mean, when, I mean, it, when it really yeah. comes down to it, like when we all first had yeah. high ABV alcohol, it's just alcohol. All did, that's all you get, yeah. It was just a burn, yeah, exactly. Because you, your brain and your, mm. your body is just completely not used to it. Now, you know, we've conditioned ourselves. It's for science, damn it. Fucking mm -hmm. up. Exactly. It's science. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you just have to stick with it. I mean,. It's like the first time you have Pete, you think, well, oh, you know, some people say it's disgusting, whatever. But if they actually put in the effort and just stick with it, eventually they'll get rewarded. Yep, yep. I mean, there are some people that just can't handle it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like some people don't like rye, which is perfectly fine, but at least explore it. Don't yeah. just have a little yeah. sip and go, no, that's not Yeah, no, yeah, that's it. Let it. Let it yeah, yeah, let it explore. Because there's so many different types of peat. When anyone thinks peat, they just immediately think island. When you've like, you've got this whole world of peat in the highlands that is just completely different from anything from island. Hmm. Well, that's good. Um, random FPV. Um, yeah, if it. I mean, 
if you're saying you oh, like flavor it, wheels. Yes, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, flavor wheels for any any whiskey, whether it's bourbon, Scotch, Irish, you want that. They're all good, and even for cigars too. If like you you, you smoke cigars, a flavor wheel is really good for a cigar too. Yeah, flavor wheel. Just look mm. online. You can find a shitload of them. Print them out. They're amazing always to have. You can even get them on your phone. Just get the flavor because they're really good to. Like if you're just picking up sweetness, because the cool yeah. thing about a good flywheel on the outside, in the middle, it'll have sweet. And then, okay, what kind of sweetness? Like what Simon just said, is it, is it a honeyed sweetness or is it a, a candy sweetness? Is it a floral sweetness? Is it a fruit sweetness? Is it a tropical fruit or a, a standard fruit? You know, and then it goes into is it a. Yeah. What kind of sugar, if it's a sugar, is is it caster sugar or is it brown sugar or is it caster sugar, is it raw sugar, you know, what kind of sugar and then you, you go further, further down the rabbit hole. And, but those flavor wheels give you those prompts all the way through. And I would also recommend... You know, I'd love um, to Johnny Walker to release a green label at 50%. Fuck yeah. Good day. Imagine that. Top shelf, yeah. Dustin. Oh, good day, Dustin. Hey, Dustin. Top shelf, you, Dustin. Just said, where's the pickle juice for pickle backs? <laughs> <laughs> not pickled yet but in, but in going back to um random fpv's comment um just read the the uh, flavors they give you on the bottle and if it says something like apples just go if you have an apple around you smell that apple and then go back to your whiskey and see if you can smell it if it yep. says you know caramel if you've got some sort of a candy that's caramel smell that thing and then go back to your and that's how you'll eventually start building that memory in your brain. Yep. Yeah, and, and yeah, and do it with the flavor wheel, and you can buy those yeah. amazing yeah. kits. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, 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 they're really good. And that's the other thing. When you're, when you're exploring things, like you find that you're exploring things in your day-to-day -day mm. life. Yeah. Like when you smell something or taste something, just spend a, a couple of seconds yeah. thinking about that smell or taste exactly and because it's connected to your memory yeah. and your emotions it'll get triggered and then when you smell that in your glass or taste that in a glass it'll click back to that and you'll have a connection i mean it's exactly it's like great tasting from chris morris yeah. from woodford in kentucky when matching food with bourbons by the wheel yeah mm. should you yep that's it that's the thing if you can go to uh, tastings if you can go to a place that does tastings and pairings with whether it's like I've, I've done cigar ones with whiskey and food done ones with just whiskey and and this whiskey we're talking everything so just whiskey across the board with foods um yeah it's it's really good fun top shelf dustin just said guys do that at lot think how many times in grade school a friend would say smell this <laughs> yeah <laughs> smell that <laughs> Yeah. That's what I mean. I mean, like when I go out, like the other day, like last week, I went out fishing, and while I was there, I was just really just sniffing in the, you know, the sea, the, you know, seaweed and the thing, and, you know, just to. And then your campfire. Yeah, and yeah exactly. Everything, yeah. everything. Yep. All those smells. Yep. Because, end, end of the day, like, for example, I'll say, you know, this um, Bushmills has, you know, it has a really strong pear flavour. There's no actual pear in it, but because, you know, I've smelt a pear, I know what it does. The memory makes the connection and you can smell it. Yep. And nobody is right and nobody is wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fish bait. That's what I was thinking. I've yeah. seen fish bait. <laughs> yeah, nobody's <laughs> right and nobody's wrong. Everybody's experience is, is different or what you've grown up with. Mm, exactly. That nature and nurture thing. Like... When people smell mm. different coffee flavors, I yeah. never get that because I'm only the only experience I've had with coffee is smelling different coffees. You know, when yeah. people are making it or having a coffee, that's the yeah, I've never drunk it. I don't drink the stuff, so I have no idea. But I know the smell of certain coffees. That's the only experience I have. Mm. But someone else who's a massive coffee buff is going to pick up heaps of different coffees. Yeah. And that's why you should never rely on reviews alone because that person probably has a different experience, you know, mm -hmm. through his life than you have. So, you know, they might say, yep. oh, it tastes like blah, 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 but doesn't mean you're going to get that. 
yeah, you, you need to go multiple reviews, and if you find a consistent yeah. thread for yeah, those exactly. reviews, yeah, yeah. then you go, yeah. okay, well then that is not a a personal thing. That is indicative of that that you're most likely going to get. Don't like coffee? Yeah, don't like coffee. I don't like any hot things at all, really. I'm mean, just give me water. Or whiskey. <laughs> Woodford you can do with parmesan cheese, dark chocolate, orange peel, cranberry, and maple syrup it brings out different flavours of one whiskey, unless it tastes like that and Clyde went first. Yeah, it, that's exactly right. And when you do those pairings, you can, I mean, that's what the cool thing about doing a pairing is you get something that pairs with it, as in it complements it, or something that's completely yeah. contradictory and it brings it out both in the food and in the liquid that you're drinking. <laughs> you don't drink coffee? How do you survive? Yeah, that's what a lot of people say, but I'm not addicted to nicot uh, mm. caffeine. I'm addicted to nicotine, so most people have their heart starter, which is coffee. I have my brain starter, mm. which is nicotine, so. <laughs> Top shelf, Dustin. Just said, look at all the notes Ralphie comes up with. He might as well be speaking Greek to me. Yeah, exactly. I've never yeah. even heard of half the foods he's eating. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's the thing. But he's got such a yeah. vast life experience to draw in from. That makes the difference. Like, if you stuck in one little town and ate the same food consistently, like, you know, some people have in their whole life, they're not going to pick up bugger all. Whereas someone mm -hmm. who travels the world and explores different foods and cultures and smells and all that stuff, they're going to have a massive repertoire of things to call on. Yep, I have my brain starter. Don't need the heart starter. <laughs> I don't even do. I don't do any caffeine. I don't do really? any drinks. I don't do any other stuff. I'm, I'm one of those people that can just, like, I don't fall asleep. I mm. can be so tired. And I'm like, yeah, I'm really fucking knackered. I need to go to bed. <laughs> I I'm just not one do. Of those people that just nods off. I just do caffeine out of habit. Yeah, that's what most people do. Yeah. They get addicted to it, and it, it is an addictive, highly addictive. Like it's drug. just a for me. It's a morning ritual. I only have one coffee, and that's in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's it. I only yep. have one coffee a day yep. in the morning. No, don't do tea either. Yeah, I hate tea. I need my six cups of coffee every morning. The only time I've done a hot drink is when. Like when I've done martial arts and I've trained with, you know, a high end master and at the end it's traditional to have, you know, mm. a Chinese tea of some sort. Oh yeah. You yeah. know, whether it's whatever green tea or kind of mild or something. And I'll have that. Don't mind that. But it's not something I mm. I'd want to have myself. It just doesn't appeal to me. And when I've been out in the bush as a young lad we'd make a billy tea. Oh yeah, billy tea. That yeah. Is <laughs> yeah. I mean the old that's jump. <laughs> Make a jumbo tea. <laughs> 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 Get a Melbourne for different food, just avoid the code. Yep. Yeah, I'm getting that real lemony, limey fucking... What's this? Oh, what type have you practiced? Oh, so predominantly Wing Chun Kung Fu. So I teach, I teach Wing Chun Kung Fu. But I've also done um, other stuff. So I've done Tai Chi Chuan. I've done pretty much a, a freestyle MMA style thing. It's, it's equivalent to Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do. We just don't call it that. Oh, really? You've done Wing Chun? So who are under? You're over in Melbourne? Yeah, so a William Chung lineage. Good day. That's what I started with. Hot buttery with rolls. Oh, good day. Hey, Chris is hey. in the house. Training Kaioshin Karate. Nice. Oh, Eddie Chung. Okay, nice. Oh, I'm Brizzy here. Yeah, sorry, not Melvin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So originally, I trained in under William Chung. We won't get into that. Yes, I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, Yip Man, Yip Man Rouge, and. More Wan Chun Lung, Wan Chun Ting, kind of. Yeah, Wan Chun Lung. Very much so. All that internal goodness. <laughs> but then the other side is um, Kali, a screamer, um, 
grappling, locks, holds, throws, all, all, all of the good stuff. And none, none of that shit stuff. Like we don't in, in my school. I, I closed my schools before just before COVID. Um, Sifters in US and also another Sifter. Randy Williams. Oh, really? Like the Randy Williams? The man? And, oh, wow. What, so you trained under Randy? Oh, that's fucking awesome, man. I mean, he's, he's a legend. <laughs> I've got a shitload of his books and videos, man. That guy's awesome. <laughs> Now that's wicked. I was just gonna say that is another awesome conversation. You need to dr drop into the fucking Discord and we'll, we'll get on there on the chat and we'll just fucking have a good old. <laughs> good day. Bourbon oh. neophyte. No, good day, Anthony. Good day, Anthony. How Bourbon you go, mate? Neophyte. Yeah. Just said cheers all. Cheers, yeah. mate. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do that. I mean, for the Discord link, just punch, punch in mm. explanation point Discord. It'll come up the link. Jump in there, and then when you're online and I'm online, we'll just jump in the voice chat, and we'll just talk kung fu, man. That'd be sick. Yeah, yeah. you've got pictures with Randy and stuff. I mean, that, that'd be fucking awesome, man. The froth over that shit. And by the, right, so by, by the way, anyone watching, feel free to jump on. The link's just... Yes, up. please. Yeah. Yeah, please. Please jump in. Even if it's so just to, to say hello for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to show you this. It'll be the last thing I'll talk about when it comes to coming through. I'll start pulling yeah. out all my stuff. But yes, Shushan Ting. So one of my students, he trained over in Hong Kong for a while, and he got Shushan Ting's Good day. books. Old Man so Joe. Catching up on them. Good day, Old Man Joe. Good day, Old Man Joe. There you go, mate. So yeah, awesome. You should do online classes, Tai Chi and whiskey in the morning. You can definitely do that. <laughs> It'll be like, what? <laughs> Go in for the port. We'll have to. We'll have to yeah. give it names. <laughs> uh, I've done the Yip Man and Pan Nam lineage with it. Oh, wicked! <laughs> I got the feeling Ken has a great martial arts book collection right out of frame. Uh, I've got a few books, I've got a few weapons. <laughs> i got a bit of stuff. A lot of my stuff, like my Mukjong and all my other martial arts stuff's in, in the shed. So when I closed my school, I bought all my stuff. So it's in the shed at the moment. But when I get my new house, I'll be setting up another queen. And then start teaching again. Randy may be over with Five Finger Death Punch when they're two as they are friends. Oh, that is sick. White Crane flashes it, Dram. <laughs> White Crane flashes tits, Dram. <laughs> Oh, White Crane flashes its dram. <laughs> yeah. And we can't have any, any drunken monkey style, so we, we can't do that. I think Bagua would be very conducive to drinking. Oh, yeah, we definitely got a roll, man. Hell yeah. I am sipping on Johnny Walker Green Label, correct. Yep, that's what I started 
the opening. And it's my first yeah. ram since Sunday night. And by the, by the way, what uh, is everyone else sipping on? I know it's early for most of you guys, but if anyone is sipping on something, just, yeah, let us yeah. know. You could get people falling, falling, <laughs> falling over. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, poorly. Well, my teacher always said that if you're going to train, you need to train under the influence of certain substances to actually do the training. So, you know, if you're in, in a situation where you're under certain substances, you need to know what you're doing. Fuck my as well, I'm assistant to trainers, but I can get to stuff and do it next. Yeah, I haven't done any buck my. I'd really love to do a shitload of pin jacks at that. Uh, Discord, just punch in. Uh, Night bite should be coming up, but I've got. Set up commands. <laughs> so if you just type Discord, it'll come up. Got a few hours of work before you can join. No worries. Ooh. I'll be here for a while. Yeah. I'm contemplating uh, pouring some green, but I thought better of it. <laughs> it's an 8am <a>. here. <laughs> I actually did contemplate starting a stream some stupid hour this morning because I could have a dream. And I thought, no, it's the first day with power. I'll get some fucking work done. <laughs> I've been <laughs> out of power and done no work all week. But I'm definitely enjoying this. It's quite nice. Alright, let's have some Irish. Oop, there we go, Jamison's. Yep. So we're going to launch our um, Star Trek show this Saturday. So it'll be 11 p.m. WA time. Yeah. Um, 11, 11 a.m. Eastern time. And then obviously. Nine in the West or whatever it is for the rest of you guys. And what will it be about? Just oh, it'll just be a, it'll just be a, a free hangout, pretty much just a hangout with everyone talking about Star Trek. So how they got into Star Trek, what they like about, what's their favorite shows, movies, oh, okay. you know, characters. Just just everyone get to know each other and, and what they like about Star Trek. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. And then we'll go into, we'll do watch shows and dive into stuff more, you know, pair drinks with characters and... Pair drinks. <laughs> Sounds alright. Yeah, fuck you, man. I mean, Eddie doing his, um... Yeah, some of the stuff I've seen. He's a bit of a muck around. So it starts at 11 a.m. you said? 11 a.m. Eastern, as oh, in okay. America. 11 p.m. our time. So Saturday oh, 11, 11 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Saturday morning I'm going fishing, but I'll be back in the afternoon, so yeah, I'll pop in. Yeah. No, it's not, not everyone will be able to join in the first couple of shows. Cosplay? Mm. Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, yes. I mean, I've got to finish my costume. I started a... For Klingon costume years and years ago when I met JG Herzer and Robert O'Reilly. So Garon and Martok, for those I don't know. From the next gen of D Space Nine. But I just haven't finished it. Yeah, so right. it's on the Discord. There's a Star Trek channel there. We've still got a few spaces left in the crew. What was I again? I forgot. I haven't checked back. Oh, I did see that Apple Falls, yeah, with the Lego. <laughs> For the Pappy, yeah. That was pretty funny. <laughs> what was that, Simon? Uh, what, what position was I again? <laughs> I forgot. You're just a crewman. Oh, you just... were, yeah, yeah, you were going on about the fucking jump buck and the distilling. Oh. <laughs> so when, when it comes to the distilling, you can't put up bog standard bottles because we're in the future so yeah, yeah. In, in our 10 Ford we've got a whole collection of whiskey we've got a collection because yeah mm. <laughs> yeah saw that nerd yeah fucking oath <laughs> proud of it <laughs> <laughs> I 
Fuck yeah. I mean... <laughs> Come on. Any of you with George Pakai? Yep. No just be back in a second, just going to grab another dram. Nice. We won't enforce it. <laughs> and if you disappear, I'll make it enforce that bloody shirt change. Yeah, it's gonna be good fun. I've made the tentatively made the intro, I've made the logo. So it's, it's the original insignia or the Delta original insignia Delta with a Glen Khan in that spot. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Tell Sufi's Aussie student sent you. Awesome. Nah, we won't we won't make him do a new shirt yet. He did say he was getting another drink, so that's fine. We can allow that. It's when he just randomly Good walks day. off. Nigel Hines. Good day, Nigel. How you go, mate? I have power. Yep, I have power. So the pub is open. The chisel. So feel free to pop into the pub anyway. The link is posted in the usual spot. Jump on in. So Nigel's in our crew. He's our tactical officer. So you're gonna blow shit up. <laughs> Actually Nigel, what, what um, species did you pick for yourself? We need to Make sure everyone picks their species. So I'm a Klingon. Have to be. Just have to be. I was going to stick with human. I was like, nah, I'll be a Klingon. A well adjusted Klingon. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, random's the Alecky. That's right. Forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's right, you're a triddle. Yep. As long as it's not a red shirt. Nah, red shirts are all good. Red shirts are all good. It's not like the original where every red shirt got <laughs> obliterated. No, red shirts are all good. You just don't want to piss me off because then I'll just call you a talk and shove my battler through your throat, but that's alright. <laughs> but since I'm in Starfleet, I'm not allowed to do that kind of thing, you know? <clears throat> this would be good with a bit more ABV in it. It's a bit thin. Good day. It's still tasty. Jim Morris. G'day, Chief. I totally agree. There was lots of red shirts that didn't get whacked. Exactly. So if anything breaks, we get to blame Jim, because he's, he's chief engineer. <laughs> so did you ever look at the video, Jim? Oh, you did. You said it was a, yeah, a bit slow. I need, yeah, I need to work on the timing stuff. That was just a, a base. Well, the class, it's going to be the clown class, because Simon is, I mean, Shane is making the ship. I was going to do it, but I just don't have the time to model it. But he's modeling it. So that's going to be pretty damn cool. So it's going to be a Khan class. It'd be really cool if he'd hurry up and do it, because then I could have the intro with the ship. Was one episode only around the two. Yeah, exactly. 
But we're a board spectrum. We haven't even defined the actual error yet. I think it's going to be TNG ish. I think it's going to be around that. I just saw a ship and a bottle of Lego. I need that. I need to do. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. It's going to be a while before I get my Lego. Um, what's the name? Shuttlecraft. With all the cyclone stuff, so. Um, Aaron, I have one. <laughs> I'm not gonna grab it right now, but yes, I do have a Batlas on my wall. I'm looking at it right now, there's a. a full scale metal Batlas. Just sitting up there. <laughs> and then for my cosplay, I copied it out out of wood, and then painted it silver, and I put wraps around it, so it looks like the authentic thing, but it's just wood. Yes, I do have a Batlas. And you could definitely fuck someone up with that. And being a martial artist, I actually love the style of martial arts that Dan Curry created with that. It's, it's really cool. Oh, you've got the Bat Dunjo? Yep, I've got some Bat Dunjo as well. Actually, yeah, they're just over here. Hold on. Ah, uh, Charles, it is um, one of the wood finishes. Pretty much a bottle kill. Nah, they're not there, I'm leaving. Was one of the uh... first bottle kills for tonight. I have another two bottles. Have you got the Lego keys. police station? Actually, I think my son's got that. He's got so much Lego. I think I'm ordering a Mate Smart Fay 01. Mm. Nice. Yeah, so, as I was just telling them, Ken, yeah. Just bottle killed this Maker's Private Select. Oh! And I've got Training another two. I've got yeah. a kit. I've got to kill this. This is pretty much almost empty. Pretty much dead. And yeah, I've also, got a I need to kill. the Archie Rose Rye is almost dead. So Archie Rose. Yeah. No. So another two bottle kills. You gonna pop in, Jim? Or are you busy? Too much of that recently. I had to restock some. Oh, the silver in the helicopter, mobile command. Yeah, my son's got that. He's got the mobile command helicopter one. He's got the rescue one. Oh, he's got a shitload of stuff. So much fucking Lego. Got a bunch of the um, Jurassic Park stuff and <laughs> mobile the city stuff. Got the trains. Yeah, he's got shit. Oh, the space stuff. He's got a bunch of that. Heaps. Heaps. He could definitely start his own fucking shop. You make me want to get my batless now, but it's a pain in the ass. It's... I'll leave it up. <laughs> I'll save that for the Star Trek shows. I'll bring my batless out. I want to get a mechless first round. I want one of them. I should make one. Yeah, that's that's something, Charles. My son is really hopeless for that. He just follows the instructions to a T. He's not one of those ones that will just sit with a massive pile of Lego and just build something random. He's done it a few times, and I even tried to get him to do it the other day. No, nah, he just didn't want it. It's not him. He likes following the instructions and and building it like that. 
some benchmark Elijah Craig, also one of them, as well, one of the bourbons and stuff. Nice. Nice, nice. Let's play nice. I'm playing nice for a while. Nice. Nice. Hey, Simon. Yeah? I don't have the fan on. Really? Yeah. And I actually wore a long sleeve shirt today. Oh, shit. Until I got too warm. Yeah, man. <laughs> It's actually starting to cool down. Yeah, no, last last week it's been pretty cool. I mean, it's been raining till yesterday it stopped, but other than that, yeah, it's been... You can blame me for that, for the cyclone. <laughs> <laughs> Especially down, being, um, I mean, being down in the fucking wheat belt down south, man, it was fucking... Yeah, that it, gets fucking was cold. Fucking cold. Yeah, how was it? <laughs> oh, it yeah, was it's fucking, not even winter yet. Yeah, <laughs> no, I was not prepared for it, eh? Yeah. Like it was no, that, like, that'll, catch you, yeah. that'll catch you unawares very yeah, quickly no, yeah. down there. As soon as that, that sun good. goes down, man, it gets yeah. fucking yeah. Oh, cold. yeah, as soon as the sun disappears, man, you're fucked. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> what? And it's before Anzac Day? Cool off over here as well. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's probably going to heat up during Anzac Day. No, and when? That's the 20 cold in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me? Yeah. Uh, if he's still sleeping in the morning, you have to take him to daycare. Why? Because he's only going to bed now. <laughs> That's Guess right. what? You can't drink all night. No, I can walk. <laughs> can walk. 90 degrees, 14 the night before. Yeah, nah. So was he. Oh, did I say that? Did I go, yeah, nah? <laughs> <laughs> or was that Simon? <laughs> One of us. <laughs> I don't even know. Is it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it's now it's multi axle trailer to transport a die cast bulldozer. Cool! This is always space. Yep. <laughs> he's only gonna, he's gonna bed an hour and a half after his bedtime, so. So if he's still gonna be asleep in the morning, because she would take him to daycare before she goes to work, otherwise, if he's still awake sleep then I have to take him to daycare so I can't drink all night she reckons but I can walk to daycare so I'll still be how far is it it off my head ah oh, it's only like 10 minute walk away oh yeah it's not too bad Aussies do not realize we say that yeah not date that yeah yeah nah nah yeah nah yeah nah nah yeah <laughs> yeah nah all good <laughs> Yep, it's still school days this week. So your last day of school days. Oh no, he doesn't go back to school till Tuesday, I think. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. I mean, some schools go back Monday, but depending on the school where they have a student. I mean, a teacher. Yeah, a teacher, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Samuel doesn't go back till Tuesday, does he? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Some of the schools haven't been assessed whether they're able to go back to school. I think most of them. Oh, yeah, because of yeah. Yeah, forgot about yeah. cycling. Yeah. I mean, all the other schools in the other surrounding areas, that might be a bit iffy. Aussies, Canadians definitely have their own language. We certainly do. Oh, you're mask free now. Oh, wicked. That's awesome. What's that, Jan Daniels? No, this one? Uh, that is just an archer select. And Simon's got a bottle of that. Mm hmm. As well. I actually might open it later. Well, I've already opened it, but might revisit it. Reopen it, revisit? Yeah, re. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, teacher's having a final piss up before the brats turn up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice one, Nigel. I was, was going to say. I was going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. 
They've been pissing up during the whole bloody school holidays, and now they yeah. get together <laughs> on on a school day to get pissed up together before the break yeah. return. <laughs> and they call it an official school day, so they can get paid for it as well. <laughs> an official school day where they just get slammed. Yeah. <laughs> Preparing for the when the brats turn up. <laughs> They're like, what are we going to teach them this week, this year? Oh, everything we've been teaching the last fucking 10 years. Let's just get fucking hammered. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Sunday night, that's where you recover on the Monday for the hangover. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've got their priorities right, don't worry. Yep. It's like, oh shit, I gotta go back to that bloody school. <laughs> Saying that, cheers to all the teachers. Yeah, I was actually gonna say that. Cheers to the teachers. Yeah. And, 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 and definitely, since all this crazy cycling crap, mm. big shout out to yeah. all the. Poor bastards that lost their houses and oh yeah, you know, Calvary places. Calvary. And, yeah, man, they got yeah. fucked up. And then to all the emergency services, mm. the police, the ADF, oh, yeah. everyone who's helped. Western out. Power, Mickey's, Western Powers, the electricians, yeah, yeah. everybody who's put put up and uh, helped everyone out. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Well, if you can get over here, it's um, pretty much not much quarantine. Yeah, I think they've opened, um, depending what state you're in, I'm pretty sure you don't have to quarantine. No. Most most of the states now yeah. are pretty much free for I can't remember which ones are or aren't. But no, I, I was listening to it. to it the other day on the radio. Apparently, we're all um pretty much like if me and you wanted to go to any of the eastern states, we won't have to quarantine. Oh, until you're in the air and land, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because it depends, yeah, like. Right. Because they have different levels. If you're red level or whatever, then you have to quarantine. But if you're what they call like a green level, I think, then you don't. You can just pass on through. Yep. Yep. All the peeps who lost something during the storm and the emergency service that helped out. Hell yeah. That was the photo shoot I was doing last mm. night. Otherwise, I would have streamed. But even though I was, was going to stream last night, but then the power went out again. So I was, I was shooting... Um, one of the emergency centres, they were getting a whole pile of deliveries, so I was just documenting that. Oh, okay. They've gone green now in South East Queensland. Oh, okay, cool. That's good. Daniel's in the house! Good day. Daniel Strachan. <laughs> What's happening, fuck nuts? Drinking piss, mate. Drinking, Drinking piss, piss and... Dribbling shit. And building our fucking jumbucks, Daniel. Don't worry. Lego jumbucks. <laughs> yeah, Lego <laughs> Yeah, till tomorrow, yeah. It could change overnight. Very much so. Mm. I mean, yeah, the power could go out any minute. <laughs> That's for sure. So I've still got the generator close at hand. Oh, good, yeah. How did your freezer, did you... I mean, you had your generator, so your freezer was all right, was it? Well, I didn't even use it until halfway through Tuesday. So the power went out Sunday night. Mm. We just left it. Didn't come to fuck spiders, mate. <laughs> 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 exactly. Come to drink. How did you drop bear survive the winds? Yeah, no. Nah. How did your drop bear survive? Well, they survive anything. I mean, they're ungodly oh, yeah. beasts, so yeah. yeah. I mean, they That's survive cool. on human blood, so they pretty much... That's right. Yeah, yeah. 
No, no. Them peering little bastards working for another six hours. Ah! <laughs> ah, raise the glass, Daniel. That's that's horrible, man. Condolences. As long as you put as many jump bucks together in that six oh, hours, man. you'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing you're doing um you're doing justice <laughs> <laughs> now what what was i going to talk about before that we're talking about drop bears we're talking about yeah drop else? bears yeah um no before that um your generator and your freezer. oh yeah the generator so yeah, yeah with the so we got a standard uh, standing freezer and we got a deep freezer mm -hmm. yeah shut the fuck up son <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> So both of those were perfectly fine because it wasn't stinking hot, so it was they were both perfectly fine. So we still had ice on the walls on the deep freezer until midday Tuesday. And it wasn't until midday Tuesday that the standing freezer that the ice had melted. And then okay. I remembered like I hadn't cranked over that generator for like four years, man. Oh really? And I thought, fuck it. I I'm, I think I've got some fuel in the shed, so I had a little bit of fuel in the shed. So I just poured it up. Gave it a few fucking tugs and brrr, she purred into fucking life and we just had that running. And then I couldn't get any fuel because all the servos were fucking closed, but then oh, I yeah. finally opened yesterday. So I managed to get another 10 litres of fuel. And so, yeah, we're running. And on, on one filler, because it's just a little Honda 1 kVA, but one tank of fuel lasts for eight hours. And I had the fridge running, the deep freezer, and the tall freezer all running off it. And then we're oh. charging our phones and everything at the same time. So That's not too bad. Yeah. No, nah. and then yeah, at night time when it was about ten o'clock, I just kill it and then just crank it on the next day. And well, yeah, easily two days those freezers were fine. The fridge was a different kettle of fish that that started to heat up, but the freezers were perfectly fine. A few hours of my bar fridge was completely defrosted, and that was pissing out water over the fucking oh yeah yeah across that. <laughs> like my sozies, a few tugs and away we go. <laughs> Pretty much! <laughs> it's such a great conversation because the crazy Yanks in Kentucky, they don't believe we're Aussies but drop bears or Yep, yep. We always got to pull the piss on all the non-Aussies about the drop bears. Yeah. Scare the living fuck out of them. It's what we do. So is anyone else going to get in here or what? Come on. Thumbs up. Mm. Yep. Somebody sent me a message again. <laughs> Man, it sucked so much. I mean, the power didn't worry me, but not having any connectivity whatsoever, so oh, I couldn't yeah, kill yeah. the screen. Man, that was sucked. So my mate over in camp is just asking me. <laughs> They're rolling bad, fair enough. <laughs> we would, but ratings would drop. <laughs> Fuck the ratings, this is the month yeah. of the pub. <laughs> Jesus. Think I'm here for fucking ratings? <laughs> um... So I'm just typing to me, mate. You're in bed? No, I don't know. No problems here, lost power for four days. Back. Got power. And phone. Back. What about Cubal? Did he get his power back? Um. Yeah, I think he's got it back, but a couple of other people I know, they haven't got their power back yet. No, really? So you're one of the first towns to get the power back? No, no, we weren't actually. There was a small town down south. They oh. got their power back before we did. Um, Good day. Cheech Ardolino. G'day, Cheech. G'day, Cheech. Cheers, mate. Cheers. 
No, there was a small town southeast. They got their power back because it was over 160 fucking power poles that got completely destroyed all the way. Yeah, I heard the about that. There was like yeah. a 700 kilometer stretch long. Yeah, yeah, it's got yeah, fucking yeah, destroyed yeah, yeah. with old power poles. Because they yeah. they only do like 75 a year or yeah, yeah. or some crap with the new ones. So they had 160 of them wiped out. And then like you look at the pictures, out. like to put up a new power ball, that's not an easy task. You've got to, nope. yeah. Because they're, they're putting up those big yeah. full on ones. They're not just yeah. sticking up a wooden pole. I mean, yeah. So they no. last, yeah, yesterday. So they were doing a whole check of all the areas like in town, make sure everything was all good and blah, blah, blah. So it was a big, massive job. And then they had mm. to get a generator down south a little bit, get the power running up to that. And then get it to here, yeah. and then that tripped out last night. So that's oh, what really? it took out for an hour, like a couple of hours, and then it came back about midnight. Um, and it's been touch wood; it's been running all the since. Mm. Yeah, no, I think you're good now. So, yeah, yeah, I, I think we're good mm. now. I mean, it's been on overnight, or since midnight till now, so. Almost 24 hours when it gets to midnight in a couple of hours. So hopefully my UPSs will be charged up. That'll give me a little bit of leeway to get the Jenny plugged in. Okay. But I can't get the power to because the freaking internet NTD is right behind me. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's in front of the <laughs> got the whiskey <laughs> cabinet in front of it. So I can't get into the plug into the, yeah. the power into that. I was thinking about it the other day. It's like, how can I get my generator to plug into the mains and then just turn everything off that's non essential and just run it? Cause that's the way mm -hmm. you want to do it. Yeah, you yeah. Run the Jenny into the house. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think I've got facility for that. Hmm. And that's the way to do it. Yeah, no, but it's yeah, good to see that you got it back. So <laughs> that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, the worst was not having any phone connectivity, man. Not being able to talk to mm. anyone and, and check up on there. Cause I got a mate of mine on Calberry. I was like, fuck, I hope he's all right. And I managed yeah. to get hold of him, and yeah, I was I was trying and trying, and I managed to get hold of him. <laughs> Glad to see you back and live in color, yeah, man. Come on, you aren't that far from Perth. <laughs> yeah, good day. only four hundred case. Jen Ardolino. Oh, good day, Jen. Cheers. Good day, Jen. Must say the chat flows much quicker with the NBN for chats. How much did you? But that's the problem, like I can power up my computers and stuff, but I can't get to the fucking NTD and, that, and because it's plugged into the wall, it's like, I suppose they plug into the ground. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, Maybe. I'd have to move the whiskey cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no rush. <laughs> no. I don't think you'll be getting another cyclone for a while. No. Yeah, that's the thing. On and then on the Saturday before, we got the cyclone. Cheech had bloody storms, and that's why they couldn't stream. Yeah, that's why Cheech, Cheech couldn't stream because he had blackout himself. Where's Cheech? He's in Florida, isn't he? Uh, over that way somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I yeah. Tell us, Cheech. I was watching the fallout for you guys. Hell yeah! I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't kill the stream, <laughs> <laughs> and I was able. Like the connection was so bad, it was just no connectivity whatsoever. And when I did manage to get a little bit, it'd be so hit and miss and so intermittent, and it'd take it was back to the old days of dial up trying to download and take four <laughs> hours to download one little picture on the fucking deal. It was that bad. Um, even if you could get anything, yeah, we had a bit of weather event here as well strong storms and tornadoes. Yeah, Florida, yeah, 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 it's definitely tornado season. Well, that's like here in Australia. I mean, up north we have um, during summer we have the wet season, and they get fucking hammered with um, cyclones and shit, like in the Pilbara and shit. Oh fuck yeah! Yeah, but that's the thing up there; they're all built. Yeah, for that's yeah, that's Whereas built for. Come it. down yeah. to here, yeah. nothing is built for it. That's where you know, hundred thirty old buildings completely destroyed. I mean, luckily it didn't reach me. Even though when I was driving back on Monday. On the highway, my fucking car was just, you could feel the wind. It's just, you know, I had to 
fucking hold on to the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, shit, yeah. Good old Aussie mail. Our little dollar. But yeah, we were lucky because we only got hit with just over 100k our wins. Poor Cal Barry got 170 kilometer hour wins. Fuck that. So seventy percent of Calvary is just fucking. Gone. Yeah, 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 gone, yeah. Yeah. Wonder how long till they get their power back, or if they have it. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're working on it now. No oh, um, shit. They managed to get their phone connectivity a couple of days back. They got a mobile power up there. So they're able to at least get connectivity. That's how I was able to reach my mate and see how he was going. He, he, he got away unscathed. He just had a couple of a couple of things ripped off his health, but no, he's perfectly fine. Um, how did the cyclones affect your Lego shuttle shipment? Uh, it's pretty much fucked. Um, because we've had four <laughs> days with no power and the roads have all been blocked and, yeah, that's trying to get any post stuff at the moment and it's going to be a little bit delayed because it should have been here by now. The shipment so maybe next week yeah maybe next week definitely will be delayed that's for sure yeah no one was able to get anything and a couple of the stores they would have trucks come up from Perth with supplies and they had the generator running so day. where a couple of stores were able to open the mash and drum Oh, good day, Jason. Good day, Swags. <laughs> no, that's Jason. That, that's Jason, Mash and Drum. Oh, sorry, the Mash and Drum. I thought the Mash. <laughs> <That's Jason. laughs> I'm looking at it. It's like Jason's. <laughs> no, that's Jason. Welcome back. I, how are you doing after that stream, Jason? Did you get some good sleep? Because <laughs> you, you were pretty well on the way. Yeah, you, you had some good drams that night. <laughs> that was a good stream, eh? That was a, fucking a good, good night. Stream. Yeah, good night. It was. <laughs> It was good because that started in the morning and I started my day a couple mm. hours earlier so I was able to just lurk and, and watch that and work away. Except I had it muted a few times. I slept good, I bet you fucking <laughs> did. <laughs> well, welcome to our world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I did say I'm going to have a fucking plan out. I want some Glen Twelve then, or fifteen? Everyone vote. I'm gonna go go from twelve or the fifteen. Go fifteen. Yeah, which one? You reckon? All right. Didn't have to twist my arm that fucking hard, did you? <laughs> well, I'll join you with the ten-year-old. I'll join you with the ten-year-old. Yeah, but you're going ten-year-old cast, right? Yeah. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> And it's not even stinking hot, but I've got a fucking shitload of ice. Because I had some Moscow meals for dinner with the missus. So I've got some ice in here. Uh, at least he does not fall off his... Yeah, everyone was pulling the piss out of waiting for the fall off the hair trick. Alright, let's have a dram of this. Which has become super popular now that they won Whiskey of the Year with their 10 year old car strength batch 4. And pretty much all the batches have been sold out now, even just the staple 10 and 12, I mean 12, 15, all been starting to sell out. God damn, this is good shit. Billy Walker must be laughing to the bank. After he left Glendronic. Bought Glen Alecky. Now watching the stupid Glendronic bastards. Fuck up their shit, making it chill filtered. God damn, I can't believe that crap. Unbelievable. Actually, yeah, you saw it, Jace, when wheels came on to 
um, the stream afterwards. Well, we had a couple of streams because Mr. Wiki shits and, and once they did their stream, that was after Wags did his. Yeah, you, so you're on Swag stream. After you finish yours. Yeah, the Jackie interview, that was very popular. It was good though, really cool. <laughs> it was good to see her nice and relaxed and just kicking back. Oh, the new releases? Yeah, the ones she was hinting towards? <laughs> nice. Yeah, we, don't, we don't get much of old forestry up this neck of the woods, do we? Sorry. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. The only no. one we I've ever seen is the standard, I think, 43% or something. Mike Hunt. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say, the Hunt. bog standard one. G'day, Mike. Just said good day. Yeah, we only just, yeah, that's the only one I've ever seen, it's just the bog standard. But fuck this, um, Glen Alkley's 10 year old car strength is good. I was just saying the same with the 15. Mm. Fucking good. I was just mentioning about Billy Walker, and he must be laughing his fucking head off now that, he, you know, he's a left lane drone, he can bought these guys, and then Glen Drone fucking fell over without Yeah. He's yeah. <laughs> yeah. like, you fucking idiots. <laughs> But they're just looking at the bottom dollar because supposedly they're trying to push into the Asian market. But fuck, why do they have to fuck up this shit? Exactly, yep. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Just raisins and... It's so good, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Raisins, sultanas... Yep, toasted. There's some sort of a toasted yep. thing going on. Yeah, yeah, a lot of toasted bread. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just lightly toasted, not overdone, just slightly toasted. Ah, uh, what batch uh, do what I batch have? Is yours, yeah. um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's three, three. Isn't it? I think it's three. But yeah, three. Yeah, batch three. Yep, batch three. Yep. Yeah, th th this is the 15, this is not the cast range, but yeah, it's fucking dark. Oh yeah, it's fucking... don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but... But yeah, even in, yeah, in the glass, yeah. it's just lovely, ruby, port almost fucking look. And just to confirm, they are natural colour, non-teal filtered. Oh yeah, shit you. Yeah. Whew, it's just... If you ever get a chance, just do it. Buy one. Hey, Chris, fucking I send it over, man. Send over <laughs> those beard oils. Damn straight. <laughs> nice, definitely. I have to agree, Cheech. It's really cool when you get someone. Yeah, she's a rock star. There's someone like her that just kicks back. And has a fat time, you know, it's not one of those stuck up shirt style type people that are just trying to push their brand and all this stuff, you know, they're just, they're the ones I like, the people that go on there and just talk about whiskey in general, what they like and about their product, but they talk about it in a nice, fun, entertaining way, not just trying to jam it, you know, do it, not talk, not tour towing the company line so much, <laughs> but being a normal fucking whiskey appreciator and, and talking to the people. Like a normal person. Because no one wants to be fucking sold to. Yes, we want to know about the product, but we're not when we preached about it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, some of the great ones I've done with the online tastings, like the guy from Bladnock, just had a mental blank, I could see his face. Um, Master Distiller, he was so fucking cool. And after the official thing was done, we chatted on for a couple of hours afterwards, really. That was really fucking cool. We have to chat off time and what little I can send you. <laughs> Hell yeah. Send me anything. Anything. Anything that's got alcohol in it. Oh, I want to know about it. I'm not biased in any way. 
I mean, my show has got Scotch down under, but no, nah, all, yeah, nah. all of it. I mean, we, yeah, we do a bit of everything. I mean, we've got good day, fucking Jack Whiskey Daniels, mm-hmm. some other fucking rye, all of it. Yep, we do all. We're right, Aussie, exactly. Yeah. We're fucking Aussie, and we're in the month of the pub, you know, the month of the pub, and everything goes. <laughs> Hey, okay, what you fucking drinking? As long as you don't. Thank you. Thank you for the donation. Very much appreciated. That helps to keep the lights on and put the fuel in the generator when there is no power. <laughs> Who was Thank that? Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> don't need to know. <laughs> no, fair enough. Yep. And not unless they want to say but thank you very much i was just going to say whoever it was cheers yeah, yeah. Good. cheers so speaking of cheers who's going to come in into the pub and say hi come on yeah somebody do it we don't care if you're in bed i mean yeah. slimy comes in here yeah, freaking yeah exactly like up. last time <laughs> he was literally yeah. in bed. <laughs> I mean, even if there you go. Even now, if, now you yeah. can thank now you can thank them because they've acknowledged it. <laughs> thank you very much. Yep. Thank you, Lilith. Yep. Cheers. God damn, I love this stuff. I mean, before Glen Alecky became on the radar, I fell in love with that bottle of twelve because I'd heard about it, and I remember watching the videos when mm. the, the guy who actually designed the logo when he carved that piece of stone and. It was so fucking awesome, um, and I really liked the idea because you know there was a conglomerate of three Scots people, and Billy Walker was in it. I was like, oh man, I'm so pumped for this! <laughs> and I got that bottle, that twelve. And man, I think it was one of the quickest bottles of whiskey I fucking drank. Really, so fucking good. Yeah. I mean, I wanted to and get now, it, but after fucking um, what's his name, Ralphie did that Ralphie. whiskey of the year. Yeah, yeah. It literally like I saw it all the time and just ignored it. And then once he fucking released that review, literally within a week, bang, gone. Yep. And that's exactly what happened. That's yep. what I remember. I'm, I was like, I was way before that. And I was like, man, this stuff's so good. And I was telling people mm. about it. I was like, seriously, check out Glen Aki. And then they're doing some amazing stuff. And it wasn't really talked mm. about. And then yeah, just before he announced that, it was starting to get quite a bit of publicity. And as soon as he pumped it out, and then bang, and now they've got Whiskey of the Year. And yeah, they're just I mean, rocking the th- this 10 year old is still the first Glen Alkley I've had. <laughs> because it was the well, only one I could, Yeah, it was the only one I could find. <laughs> it's a fucking good way to start. <laughs> and I was actually reading, like, James and stuff, and they were talking about this. I was just catching up on. Because, you know, I've been out of the internet for <laughs> four days. <laughs> I was catching up and they were talking about the 15 and a lot of people, this doesn't really get hyped up much, but even Billy Walker said himself, he's proud of this. As he reckons this is his best so far. And <laughs> I can see why. Really? I mean, this is really it's so well yeah. balanced, but so rich and fruity and so much going on in, in there without being overpowering in one aspect or the other. And it's just all the way through from the, from the nose to the palate to the mid palate mm. to the finish and, and the long finish it just goes all the way along it's delicious. well I like to get the 18 because in a um, Dan Murphy's in Perth they actually that Bicton store they're selling the 18 and <clears throat> yeah. I'll, I'll get it I'll get it not many people talk about that um, mm, exactly yeah I was wondering why yep uh, if he had received this 1894 from Patrick yeah. Did someone say Wild Turkey 1894? 1894, yep. <laughs> Off he goes. We can easily get that. It sits on the shelf here, that 1894. Mm. This is so fucking good. What they mean, this bad boy here. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> I think that was an Australian exclusive. They, um, <laughs> and Liz's like, what? 
Yeah, it sits on the shelf here. I mean, I can pull out my yeah. one of my local shops here that I go frequent, and it's sitting on the shelf. No, yeah, I can literally. There is a, a celebrations liquor store ten minutes from me. I can pick up another one. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> yep. I can literally bring up a picture right now. Oh, I'll prove it. There we go. This is the bottle shop. I took a picture of it like last week, and it's sitting on the shelf. Uh, is it There's a master's keep. Yep. So that's the green bottle, the master's keep. No, the green one was a rye. Yeah. It'll be grey. Yeah, that It'll was be the a rye. Bottle. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking for that one. But that one that you got, that's a Aussie exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Now the yeah the eighteen ninety four was a yeah Australian exclusive. Yeah, no, I can literally drive ten minutes from here and pick up another bottle. Yep. Oh, here we go. Here's the there's the grey bottle and then there's the red one right there. No, grey, it's grey. Yeah, I've got the grey one and the red one. There we go, right there. I can see a bastard. Focus. There you go. And then, yeah, yeah. they're sitting on the fucking shelf. Yeah, yeah. Not focus, right? On the left there, hand. There. There. <laughs> yep, that's that one. Yep, 210 bucks. Yeah. That one. That one is a bit more. But... Yeah, his friend was in New Zealand last month and took home half a dozen bottles. We've shipped over a dozen bottles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why we're going to hook up JD because he, he's trying to get that bottle. So he can't get it. So we're trying to hook him up with it. I mean, I've pretty much got all of the Masters Keep except for the decades. Yep. So, Jason, you still in here? Um, now that you've had that port finish, that was the uh, unobtaining, was it? That was the port finish one, the one that's hard to get. Now that you've had it and you've slept on it. What's your thoughts of it now? I know you really liked it doing the stream. And I was frothing at the bit when you were talking about it because god damn I wanna get some of that port finish shit. That and the, the Woodenville port one? God damn I really want that. If somebody's got a sample of that they could send me, I'd be really, really pumped to get a sample of that. Any of the port finish stuff. Two bottles of Mount Turkey 14 year old tradition from 2012. Ooh, nice. Ooh, sounds nice, yeah. Fuck yeah. I mean, this is one of those glasses I just cannot stop shoving my fucking mouth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, you're right. It's just. <laughs> it's, just it's just so. It's, it's so like, pleasant. Yeah, like you get the rays, but then. And every time mouth. you just get, like, I just yeah. got a massive pile of, like, soft toffee. Yeah, I'm getting like a buttery, toffee, melted fucking... Yeah, yeah. And it's one of those ones you can shove your nose in, you're just not getting lightheaded yeah. from the avian no, or any of that. especially... Just, nah. This, this one is 50... That's what? car strength, yeah. 58 and still, you know. Yeah, this is 47 and something. Oh, sorry, 46. Oh, so Chris has got some of the wooden grill coming? That port finish? Oh. And on Shane's blind, that Baker's seven-year-old single barrel, man, that is tasty stuff. I really like that. Funny you mentioned Baker's. I've got a um, seven-year-old, but the non-single barrel, the old version. Oh, okay. What's that like? Yeah, not too bad, actually. Haven't not had too bad. No, I really yeah. haven't had for a while. And the, the second one I liked was the OWA 107 proof. OWA, that what's that? Good. That's the... Oh, Old Weller. Um, old it? Weller, yeah. Yeah. Old Weller Antique, I think it is. Something like that. Yeah, we'll never get that here. <laughs> Unfortunately. Nope. <laughs> but I was like, if anyone can get me a bottle of that Baker's, man, that was fucking delicious. That was tasty. No, I've got it. Yeah, I've got the um, seven-year-old, but it's the non-single, like the old bottling. What am I trying? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'd ever have a pit coming over. Nice. Mm. I need to put this down. God damn. <laughs> Maybe I'll just drink it and pour some more. Yeah. Let's just do that. <laughs> mm mm. <sighs> so ah. good. Jason must be gone. Mm. Go on, Jason. Fuck your train. <laughs> Let me know what you want and I can add in some more shipments. Anything that's, well, yeah. The wooden mill port, the um, Unatobian port, any of the port finish stuff. I'm super keen to get. Any of the, um, I know it's. That bloody uh, 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 brain fart. Brain fart, come on. Brain fart. Um, smoke wagon, uncut, un unfilled. That one. That one everyone keeps talking about. Wouldn't mind getting a taste of that. Uh, what's the other one I want to keep raving about? I think it's those ones. You need a good shit. Oh, Angel's Envy, they do a port finish? Ooh. Time to go back to work. Lunch over. Cheers, Daniel. Don't wait till I do. Yeah. Just make Angel's sure Envy you just make sure you build those jumbucks properly, Daniel. I fucking knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna stab you. He's gonna fly over you. <laughs> Find you and fucking neck you. <laughs> With a fucking yeah. jump buck pluck. Let me did you see my post I put it on fucking Discord? I didn't no. realise when the power was out, but we were cooking up fucking bacon and sausages. Oh and yeah, I've seen that. Shit. Yeah, yeah. For breakfast. And I, I was looking at the barbecue and I went. Oh fuck, it's a jump buck. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I saw it went, oh my fucking god, it's a jump buck. <laughs> I bought that fucking yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Yeah, like I said, you can't escape them. I mean, they're fucking making utes. That fucking jump buck ute is a real thing. They're well, I need by... to do that yeah. Photoshop thing. I'm going to put the fucking jump buck in that fucking ute <laughs> with that fucking... <laughs> Pizza fucking jump buck thing on the top of it. I'm gonna fucking do the three stack. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking do that. And if you can Photoshop a picture of me, just shove me on top, fucking barbecuing off. I'll, I'll do you fucking decapitated <laughs> yeah. on the fucking barbecue, getting yeah, roasted. With Daniel, yeah, with Daniel fucking holding my head. <laughs> Daniel with the fucking prongs. A first edition rise angels uh, and a rum rye. Yeah, I've, I've heard about the rum finish. The rum finishes are a bit hit and miss, I find. Uh, we don't get Angel's Envy over here in Australia. I've had a bottle, I mean not a bottle, I've had a taste of the basic one. The standard oh, really? One. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, that was a the... tasting night. Yeah, yeah they usually... But that, that's the only time. We're the US Bourbon Mafia members here in Oz, and so I have a few picks coming over, plus a few other bourbon groups that I'm members of. Oh, nice. Mm. Yeah, not a lot of it. No, that's right. Damn, yeah, that's good shit. Yeah, it is. So nobody's coming in. You guys are still in bed. Daniel's back to work. Then again, still early hours for them. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Someone late for us Aussies. Yeah. I've got a first edition right. It's like Christmas in a bottle. Nice. Mm. Angels is here, isn't put a Bacardi after they purchase after the distillery from the Anderson family. Yeah, that's what I mean. I've seen Angels. Really? I've never, never ever seen it. Never seen it. I'm damn sure. I, yeah, I've seen it on the show. Is that on Nix? Have a look. Angel. 
Then you show up and see. Oh yeah, Nix has it. Yeah. Sold out. 230 bucks. <laughs> fucking hell. Yikes. 43.3%. No fucking way I'm paying 230 for a 43.3% burden. Maybe tomorrow night? Yeah, I may be streaming tomorrow. I don't know yet. What's that Friday night? I'll have this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I might, I'll have my boy. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see. I'll get some all sent over. Mafia pick in the cupboard. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Liz, bottle shop has it. Yeah, I've definitely seen it. Yep. I mean, they do have it Nick's, but for 230 bucks for a 40 Which one is it? Just the bog standard one? Yeah, yeah. This one. <laughs> Oak and barrel. Yikes. Mm. I do like this packaging. Okay, um... Okay, and they do the anti foliati tabby. I found a port cask one for only 160 Oh, now you're talking. Where's that? Uh, oakenbarrel.com. Oh, Oak and Barrel. Yeah, I follow them. I watch their stuff. They they had, um... One of the guys from Anok tonight. They did an oh, okay. episode. An oak and barrel. I need to go back and watch that. Not only the secondary sucks in Australia, the fucking primary sucks in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pricing is ridiculous, yep. That fucking barrel gets yep. us. In Sydney, Oak and Barrel? Yes, they are. They're doing their show. Fairly soon, it's coming up fairly soon. End of the month, I think. So everyone who's in Sydney, you get to go to the fucking Oak and Barrel. And they're going to be streaming it though as well, I think. Yeah. It's pretty cool. The import has killed me the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I bet. I still haven't received the letter to bend over the barrel of JD's shipment yet. It still says it's been processed. It's been like that for like a week. Yeah, it still says it's fucking been sitting in their office drinking your shit. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's got that bloody Campbelltown, Glen Scotia, Port Finish. Oh, West really? Place. Yeah. That I'll definitely probably be putting a few samples away to keep them. <laughs> Have some old granddad 100 BMP and 114 from last uh, filament. Nice. You would not think it's been. I mean, Beam's got a pretty big portfolio, but yeah, when you talk to yeah. Beam, normally, because, yeah, us being Australians, we all grew up on that crap. Jackson Beam. <laughs> yeah, Jackson Beam. Yeah. And don't forget the, Those, did, you, did you have the Woodstock bourbon? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Bundaberg, Rome, fucking yeah. Woodstock's fucking... Real McCoy, the... The, can, the old wild um, turkey, fucking... Oh yeah, the, yeah old. the old wild turkey, the shitty one. Back in the fucking nineties kind of era. That was crap. That's what put me off wild turkey. It's like, oh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ugh, it's so fucking yuck. Yeah, white label fucking shit. Not even bourbon thirty seven. I know. And my, I said to my missus, I said, "Fuck, I need a bourbon for making cocktails. I want to make some fucking." Old fashioned and shit. So she, oh, Kurga, yeah, fuck, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who hasn't been fucked up on that? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Jesus. Five Kurgas, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Do you remember that ad Kuga. with that fucking. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So she, what does she do? She comes back with a fucking white label, fucking one litre bottle. I'm like, I'm not putting that in my fucking cocktail. So that shit is disgusting. <laughs> um, and the other one, which was the uh, the fucking um, Southern Comfort, which I always liked the bottle. And now you look at the label and it looks like crap. <laughs> Southern Comfort. I've got magnet on that shit a few times. I don't think I've actually... Yeah, I've never had that one, actually. But Southern Comfort? Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> mm. It's very sweet and... Uh, but I always, always used to like the label. It was, it was a sexy label. label. <laughs> and after, you know, after you, you're pretty much almost hospitalized off that stuff you'd sniff it <laughs> a few months later and we're like oh my god <laughs> i'm around this bottle with a little bit left in it sitting on my dresser <laughs> as a young lad and i used to love looking at the bottle because it was sexy looking but every now and then i'd have a little sniff and i'm like oh my god it just bleh. australian turkeys mixed with australian water gives me the turkey scratch the next day yeah exactly but then you then, get, you know, you get 101 or fucking any of the turkey stuff now, the turkey products, they're bloody good. But in saying like that, that Russell as well, stuff? Um, uh, the, even the standard wild turkey, we get it at, at a higher proof than the Americans do. We get oh, it really? at, yeah, we get it at 83 point something. And they get it at right. the standard, yeah, yeah, we do, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll stick with me Russell's. I fucking like that shit. I should just get a bottle of 101 though. Yeah. <laughs> it is a sexy looking tube too. <laughs> okay, just gonna sort out my next tram. Alright, I think it's time you change your shirt. Oh, you didn't fucking hear me. All right, we'll make him do it when he gets back. As soon as he sits down, gets comfortable, then we'll make him fucking change his shirt. It's been way too long. And it's been almost two hours. Oh, it's over two hours, yeah, it's almost. Well, it's one hour and 48. Yep, Russell's. Good shit. This is good shit. Regular turkey, scrub turkey. Yep. Needs to be Russell's or Rare Breed or that's yeah, Rare Breed, not one one. That's what I'm thinking, Rare Breed. This bottle. All normal 86 only the money is shipped over and tank gets the bottle. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's it. Same as fucking bean shit. Or bottle here. Yep, that's what I thought. Yep, I'll stick with the rare breed or the fucking Russells. You know, we get it as it's bottled in the US. Not some shitty fucking bastardized version. I don't want that. I don't fucking want it. I'm not a fan. It's the same when I buy my. German beers. If I'm buying Bex, for example, I don't want the shit that's bottled over here or in Singapore. I want it from fucking Bremen in Deutschland. And it tastes different. My missus will drink the shit that's bottled in Singapore or in Australia, but she doesn't like the one that's brewed in Bremen because it's way more hoppier and I reckon it's better. Tasty. It's a big difference. I say thank you to us when Aussies go to the distillery as we kept them open through the 80s and 90s. We certainly did. We all got magnet on that shit. We sure fucking did. And that's what left a bad taste in my mouth because then we'll say, oh, well, take it. And I'm like, nah, no thanks. Hmm. <laughs> 
It's legal. Legit lol. Not subject to Australian taxes. Well, to a point. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's reduced in the taxes. They have a deal. I still gotta pay the fucking excise and all that bullshit, but they have a deal. Oh, is that the reason? 1894 is the reason. Wow, that's fucking hats off to that. That's fucking awesome. <coughs> so maybe I just should get a bottle of 1894. Is 1894 good? Worth the money? And just grab the fucking muscles. Because I'm not going to spend that kind of money on to make sure it's fucking decent. There's a lot of good whiskey I could buy at that kind of money. That's for sure. Now I need to play around when I get a chance because I can actually run two instances of OBS and I'm thinking I can actually do it so that everyone that come in here can actually see the feed that's been spinning out from YouTube without overloading the system. I'm going to have to play with that and try, to try it out. You like it? Love Australian Post? Yeah, you've been funny. A sample? Yeah man, I'd love to have a sample. That'd be awesome man. Oh yeah. My address is posted in the description below. Fuck yeah, that'd be sick. Mm. Gotta love that cork pot. Hell yeah, if you can send a sample, that'd be wicked. Wicked! I think Jason must have bummed you out. Bugger. I wanted to know what he thought of that bloody obtainium port finish after he slept on it. Yeah, exactly. It's 90, but not bad. Okay. Yeah, you gotta feel sorry for the poor buggers, you know, you can't even ship alcohol from state to state. That sucks. The stupid bloody archaic laws they got from Prohibition. Nah. Probably messed up. Ridiculous. So, since it's two hours, Simon, I think you need to change your shit. Come on. But remember the rules. <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it's been a while. So next time you get up, you're definitely going to have to change it. Yep, yeah, okay, fair enough. I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't changed it for two hours. I've, I've, I've been pretty slack. <laughs> but remember, if you know, I'm going to get a dram... It, no, that, that was your rules. Yeah. That was your rules. <laughs> <laughs> the mobs, the mob will get very un, unruly. And, you know, we might have a ride in the pub and I'll have to get security, you know. We don't want oh. that. <laughs> All right. Next next time I get up, I'll change my shirt. Yeah. Next next time. Yeah. yeah. We're trying to get <laughs> Perry from This Is My Bourbon podcast to join you on the stream. Oh man, do it. Yeah. Hell yeah. But since you guys were all talking about this fucking wild turkey shit, I poured myself the 1894. Nice. Well, Chris is going to send me a sample. I was just no, asking, what's it actually like? Is it worth the money? Oh, it's... What do you reckon, Simon? Is it worth the money? Mm. That's what I thought. I thought, eh, when I could just grab a rifle. They bottled it at only uh, 45% 40, or 40. 90 proof, which is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Lilith was just saying. It's 90 proof. And I'm like, eh. Whereas, you know, Russell's is at 55, mm. which. Pretty damn good. Like, to be honest, I'd rather, so far, I'd rather a Russell's. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. For the money. And taste is subjective. Yeah. That's exactly right. I is mean, it I drink get... if you get up or is it bourbon night? So Aussie version is change shit. Well, it's only for Simon because he'd just disappear off camera and, and not come back for 20, 30 minutes if he, he didn't come back. So we, we, Shane Long, Lord Shane Long, made the rule that he has to change his shirt when he just disappears off camera. But then again, I think we have to make rules for it. If I have to follow rules, other people do. So I think we have to start making rules for other people. Who uh, I think yeah. I think that's up to a consensus. Yeah, no, kind yeah, of pushing on to everyone else. Because <laughs> he got the Simon maneuver when he's, yeah. he just disappeared and pass out. And then, yeah, Lord Chain Long made the rule that you have to change your shirt. And <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean this uh, 1894. It's not actually. It's pretty good. Like it's decent. Is that after he plays the guitar? I think it was before he played the guitar. He came on. And he's like, Simon, change your fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, I can't even remember where it came from. I'd have to look back in the archives yeah. and, and oh, archives. find the moment. <laughs> 10,000 hours of viewing, fucking hell. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Good, Good luck. luck trying to find that moment. <laughs> uh. All right, Anthony, what are you using for your DSLR? Are you using a HDMI cable or are you using the um, Canon software? Because the camera software works pretty fucking well. I've, I've got all the HDMI gear and capture cards and stuff like that, and then I bought it out for pretty much every Canon DSLR. It actually works really well. Okay, so what makes apparently this bourbon special is uh, Eddie is using barrels from Rick House A, which are aged from 6 to 13 years old. Mm, okay. So I don't know much about the Wild Turkey um, Rickhouse situation, but Rickhouse, hey, what is that? The first one they ever built? Yeah, what's the significance of that? Yeah. 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 I just got a bit of custard on this. Is there anything I cannot ship to Australia? Um. um Explosives, um, <laughs> dangerous goods. Just call the explosive fertilizer and you should be all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, you, you can ship whiskey. Yeah. The samples, samples are really easy. They'll get through it as long as you label them aromatherapy or beard oils or olive oil or any of that kind of crap. Just call them that. Bottles are a different, or like a four bottles, a little bit different. Um, I'm waiting to see what happens with JD's shipment. <laughs> um, but normal, because from what I've read, I haven't experienced it myself, from what I've read, unlike in the States where they just seize it and destroy it, here they send you, because when I bought it from shops, it comes to the country, because it hasn't got all the stupid fucking excises and all the other taxes stuck on it, they send you a letter and say, here's the barrel, bend over, take it up the arse, Pay the shitload of money and we'll send out your crap. So USPS will send out the or customs will send out the the letter, pay it, and then you get your shit. If you don't, then they'll destroy it. Okay. So you got a freight forward in Florida. Chris, so you guys still have to pay the excise and crap, mm. don't you? Chris says, uh, Warehouse A is the Rick House he's going to on the tour. So is that, oh, that special? So that's the one you go into. Yeah, is that something special? Or... As I was saying earlier that 1894 was like a, a thank you to mm -hmm. us Aussies in the 80s and 90s drinking a shitload of wild turkey and keeping yeah. them above fucking water. Because that's all us idiots getting maggoted in our youth, <laughs> drinking that shit. Like what's his name, Jim Barnes, Jimmy Barnes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jimmy Barnes. <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> <shit -like> <laughs> <joking>. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
No explosives. Yeah. I, I like explosives. I like guns and explosives and stuff, but customs might not like <laughs> Border Patrol might might have something to say about that. But yeah, like the sample bottles, like these are the ones that Shane sent over. But they'll go through perfectly fine. Just shop around for the shipping, because it can be a little bit pricey. Yep, yeah, so you still get hit. That's exactly it. It's 88 bucks per alcohol litre, so about $30 Australia for 80 proof in Port mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's at 80 proof. So I always, on average, I say it's around 100 bucks a bottle that yeah. you pay. Yeah. Excise. That just covered my ass. If you send, make sure there's a receipt with the proof. If it's a full bottle. But samples are easy. Samples are the way to go. You know, if you want to send a decent sample, just send a couple decent ones. So, Chris, that works even if, if a, a non-shop person sends a bottle. You know, we still get the letter and we still got a cough up. That still works perfectly fine. Had a sample of barrel pick sent over for our barrel we had coming over and experiment with straight off the last time batch. Our friend Stephen Bean. Nice. So sending the proof ABV receipt with a full bottle, yeah. But it still comes through perfectly fine. And then, you know, if it's FedEx USPS, they'll send the letter and cough up. We are sending, they need to have shipping license. Oh. So if Joe Blow sends a bottle to someone in Australia, what happens? Does it get seized? I know, uh, yeah, okay. Educate me. Use my US and Florida as a freight border. So they have a license, they are able to. So if they don't, Regular Joe, it's olive oil. Yeah, but customs will still see them, though. <laughs> I reckon they will. Yep, so they got a liquor license to afford it. And then we just pay the excise. That's gonna call me. Uh, I hope I'm getting those bottles that JD sent. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was some really good bottles that he's sending. Well, if you label them um, perfume bottles, would that go? Perfume. It doesn't matter what you label, man. No. Customs is gonna. Yeah. They're gonna open that. They're gonna see it. Oh, I know it's a pain in the ass, for sure. I definitely understand that. I'm just saying, well, what's the way to actually do it? I mean, I don't mind coughing up the excise to get these bottles. But I just want to be able to get them. Like How did not have any connectivity whatsoever? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Hello, ah. Anthony. Send models there, and they forward over well, to FedEx. Seems to be working. Yep, yep. It works quite well. 
And they matched against Invoice okay. and did custom fair and then paid win in the air. It is? We went okay. to the writing system from the <laughs> writing system from the yeah. up. You know what? Well, that's I a little think, bit different. I'm here for fucking writing. I think the easiest uh, way to send um, Ken something is if you have, if um, they sell a Jumbuck barbecue over there, just shove that full I fucking knew you were going to. I thought, I, I did actually <laughs> second guess myself. I was thinking, maybe he's actually saying something <laughs> legit, but <laughs> you had your hand up and I was like, nah. But that is uh, legit. As long as it's not multiple uh, than one package, as in a bottle? Uh, Keyboard, did he get his power back? Um, yeah, I think he's got it back. But a couple other people I know they haven't got their power back. Anthony's looking at the stream because we can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? We all want to get power back. No, no, we weren't actually. There was a small town that got their power back before we did. Um, Good day. Cheech Ardolino. G'day, Cheech. G'day, Cheech. Yeah, that was ages ago, Anthony. Yeah. What am I hearing that way? Are you looking back on it? No, there was a small town south east. They got their back. As long as yeah, it does not come this there, there was like, like yeah, 700 the other week. kilometre stretch. Long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Old because they, they only do like 75 yeah, we yeah, yeah. Anthony, Anthony. So they had 160 of them wiped out. And, and then like, you look at the pictures, out. like, to put up a new power ball, that's no thing to ask. You've got to look. Yeah. Because they're, they're putting up those big... Yeah, yeah. Anthony. They're not yeah. sticking up a wooden pole. I mean, yeah. So they... You okay, Anthony? I didn't need anything. Go through an insurance claim. Yikes. Now that's the thing. JD sending me four bottles. Is that working now? Anthony? <coughs> no, he's using the webcam utility. Nice. No, oh, and he dropped off. Weird. I mean, usually we always got to his um, stream, so I don't know what's happening. I was using his phone. He's, he's fucking around with his camera. He's using yeah. the webcam utility. No, that's the thing. A bottle shop can send, a distillery can send, but I'm thinking with a normal person. What actually happens if somebody sends something? Well, Joe Blow sends a bottle to someone in Australia. It should just be that it gets seized at the border and they open it and go, well, this is fucking alcohol. They send us a letter and say, pay your fucking money. And then we should get it. And that should be fine. Why does that have to be so difficult? Mm. If you send anything else, I know the updates work, but the camera times out. The camera will time out, but it comes back. It, it turns off and comes back on. <laughs> and that's just the Canon cameras. I worked out how to stop that myself. It just goes, it turns off and turns on again instantly. Mm. That's using the HMI, but I think I've used uh, the EOS at utility. I think it did the same thing. I haven't worked out how to get around that. I need to. Invest in the gate that more. Well, I might have to try that Florida hoarding thing. If that guy, if that works for you guys, how much does it cost? How much are they charging for that hoarding? So you got to send it to the the guys. I was looking at doing one of those services. I think that Florida one was the one I was looking at. So you send it to the Florida mob. And they're pretty good. They don't, they're not one of the ones that fucking wait forever to get the shipments and then they send it. They, they're pretty, how, how, how is the service? 
and cost. Well, if that's the way to go. As long as you have a receipt, they can send by someone like my US as well. Good. It is free to have a forward address to instantly forward seven dollars per month to hold for a month. Yeah, that's the one I was reading about. It should stay on. Okay, so it's seven dollars a month to hold it, so you can send a bunch of bottles at a different amount of time when you get say five bottles, then you can ship that ship, yeah? Instead of doing it at once. On each one. And you have to have a receipt. God, it makes it so difficult, doesn't it? Such a pain in the ass! Yeah. So that's why I never bother entering any of these giveaways and stuff in the States and that, because trying to get the shit here. It's just not possible. Well, if it is, it's a pain in the ass. If you can send me an email with all the deets, that would be awesome. Scotchdownunder at gmail.com Set up a command for this so I don't have to type it. Six level cylinder is under five level. Okay. We'll chat when we talk, Winchell. Definitely. Done. Sorted. As long as we don't get carried away talking Wen Chong and we forget about talking about shipping or whiskey. <laughs> but I'll stick that in the back of my brain box. It's something I want to sort out. But yeah, if I, are you on the Discord now? Yeah, we can chat. I'll just back, and we can talk. We can talk on uh, during the day when I'm working. I can just have my headset on, and we can chat. And we can talk while we're drinking. That will never happen. <laughs> what was that song? Just use whatever. Well, with Anthony, just use whatever settings he used um, when he used to join our live streams. Yeah, that was with a mobile device. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. He's trying to set up his, his camera settings. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Now, in, in the camera, you should be able to turn off turn off the auto um, shutdown in the camera. That's what you need to turn. You definitely need to turn that off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make sure the Chris finds it. Sweet. Thanks. Twenty-four by seven shift. Yep, 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 yep. No wackers. Yeah, I need to. When I start getting some money, I need to start looking at the. Um, yeah, in in the camera, you should be able to turn off as well. turn off off the auto um, shutdown. That's what you need. You definitely need to turn that off. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Got ends with nice Kentucky distilleries. I'm not sure the first bond is this way. Well, I'm working on it. Nah. Oh. Working on it? Yep. So I decided to go back to the camera on the uh, laptop. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, it's going good. No, what? Just kill the stream if you got the stream running. Yeah. If you get the replay. Yeah, yeah, Sounds good. Yep. Yep, that's good now. Yep. No, you should be able to use the US Perfect. utility. It should, it should work fine. It works. I mean, I, so, I did it on the... Well, I did it before. Have you got a headset or speakers? Because we're getting repeat. Well, we're on the laptop. Just kill if you've got a separate window. Strain. Strain. You just mute it. You can still get the chat going. Just oh, kill, mute, yeah, kill mute, the audio. Yeah. Just mute the separate. Yep, good. We need. There we go. Yeah. That's better. Oh, I had a couple of different those amount I was applying for different the background on my. Like, Oh, fair oh. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that happens to the best of us. Yeah, that yeah. times out. So I updated after how long? This, it recognized. This is it? I can plug it right. I'm watching yeah. my. Mm. Yep. It sees, but three. There is a uh, what cameras as your solution, so on. So it's still time. Yeah. Out. I unplugged the. It's the camera. HDI. It worked. Okay. Yep. That EOS camera utility, or if you use HDMI, it's the camera itself because it's not getting any input from from the user on the camera. It will time out because in the camera it's got an auto shutdown. Uh, it's usually to set by default for two minutes or one minute. And it will shut down. So you'd need to turn that off. Yeah, it's in it's in the camera. <laughs> it sees your butt. <laughs> you haven't found it. It's um hold on. I'll tell you. I think this is plugged in. Yep. It would be under. It'll be in in over to the right in the menu system. It'll be the one with the little spanner, and it'll have auto power off. Yep, so it'll be one of the one one of the wrenches. So it'll be the yellow so when you're in the menu, now you've got the red ones and you've got the yellow ones and the green ones. It's one of the yellow Easy. ones with the wrench. And it'll be one of the top. Yeah. Auto menu off. Auto power off. Turn that off. Yep. And that'll fix it. Oh, yeah. That's easy to miss. Because it's on by default. Parent. 
<laughs> I'm a photographer, so that's my bread and butter. To do with it does. The camera the camera automatically has the auto power off, so when it doesn't receive any input from the user. Yes, yeah, so and when you don't press any button, it turns itself off and it goes into battery saving mode so that it, it reserves your battery for you. Which is good, but also a pain in the ass if you're trying to do streaming and stuff like that with it. Yeah. Ugh. It's nearly 12.44am here, I'm out, but Chris is still here, I'll be listening. Nice! Well, it's only early for us, yeah. I mean, 1, 2 yeah. or 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm nocturnal like a bat, I'll still be here, that's for sure. 10.46. <laughs> and Cubal's in the house, he's finished work. No, How was work, no. mate? Actually, he wasn't at work. He's not worked till later. Once the audio comes in, I can't hear him. Good to see you got your power back, Cuban. Yeah. Can't hear him yet. You guys hear him? Yep, got you. Hello, there we go, gotcha. <laughs> Noise. Yeah, yeah but no, um, Anthony, your stream's going good, so yeah. Oops. That would help you to get bubble shipped over. Yeah, much appreciated, Chris. That would be awesome. Alright, I'll put this away. I think there's something different. Just trying to decide what I want. Decisions, decisions. A terrible problem to have. I'm thinking since it... Yeah. It is, isn't it? I'm thinking because this is a sherry bomb. I immediately went Glendronic 15. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Glendronic 15 maybe? Ooh. Well, one day off as doing cover shifts on the weekend. Mm. Yeah. So we need to film again, Cubal. I didn't. I put a, a um, community post up that we're not putting an episode out tomorrow because I only just got power back today, so I haven't had a chance to edit it. We should. But I'm not going to stress too much about putting that yeah. episode out. No, I can wait. Enough. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I'll go to bit. I'm a bit yeah. tentative of smashing my way through this. Because if they're going to be unchill filtered, mm. I mean, they're going to be chill filtered. Well, I can't film until next weekend. Oh, that suits because there won't be the episode won't come out till next Friday anyway, so that's perfect. Yeah, so at last, no one has. As in the twenty fourth and twenty fifth. Oh, Anzac Day. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I won't be doing Anzac Day. No. <laughs> <laughs> I could just imagine how you'd be filming on Anzac Day, mate. <laughs> how do you turn the camera on? <laughs> yeah. Where's my chair? Like, what You're sitting down already. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever yeah, we I'll fucking want. Definitely in need All right. Yeah, 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 we have to. I'll... The only the only other option is next Friday straight after work. But I'm, yeah, because I finish at four. So if Scotty wants to film straight after work, we can do it then or something. Because I've got a shindig on the Friday yep. night. Yep. So we just have to see if Scotty's available on the 24th, I suppose. If not, we can do a history episode. Or something, yeah. It's been a while since we've done yeah. one of them. 
Yep. So we are night shifts, Anzac. I think who we can who well, we actually fucking do. But I'm thinking Lefroy, Gardbeg, and Lagavulin because those three have got a pretty intertwined, interesting history. Mm. Anthony, so, uh, what are you drinking, Anthony? Oh, actually, that's morning for you. Yeah. So remember. Remember, posted with the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. There, Ken. Yeah, we do. Yep. I, do I did some more. And that's a store pack. A couple of people at the. It is, yep. The store that. And, and uh, it's not. Re good quality. Quality, the ABV E. Ah, okay. And drink. How? It's a bit hot. I forget what it was. They they said it's overproofed. Thing like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woohoo! It's, uh, it's saying so, that it allows you to water it. Yep. Yes. You mentioned that. Hey, speaking of, speaking yeah. of store pick. Neat. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go for a cue ball. Okay, so speaking of store picks, I think it was the last time I was on, someone said something about the possibility of another Russell's Reserve store pick in Australia. Uh, yeah, that, that might have been. Um, yeah. The response I got is maybe for vintage sellers. Oh, really? But apparently there's a Master's okay. Keep store pick coming. Oh, really? Shit. Ooh. Oh, there we okay. go. Okay, so, <laughs> hands getting rubbed yeah. together there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. okay. Yeah, I'm in. I'm I'll, in. I'll have to try and wangle a tasting. <laughs> <Really>? Yes, <laughs> so vintage sellers, you said. <laughs> yes. Yes, maybe. She said, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe vintage seller. Maybe? <laughs> I cannot <laughs> reveal my source. They're part of no, the no. Coles group. Vintage sellers is part of the Coles group. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, Ooh, it goes liquor land, oh. first choice, then vintage sellers. Okay, yeah. Vintage yeah. sellers are wine, but generally more wine stuff than anything. Oh. But yeah, mm, just goes to show it, it uh, pays to shop around. Oh, it does. Pays oh, there you go. And Chris is <laughs> going to hook us up. He's going to ask Eddie about it. Just, just yeah, bear in mind we are asking about Australia. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're, they're on to it because. Oh, yeah. Are we talking about the Eddie Russell though. or just a Eddie Russell? No, the Eddie Russell. Over here. Uh huh. Don't think it would be uh -huh. a master's keep as it is. Matches. Yeah, good point. Oh. Good point. Maybe it's just a, another master's oh, keep release so coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. What is Vegas? Yeah. So when did you get your power back? 
<clears throat> Gold Coast. Mine, uh, I got up just after nine this morning and it was already on. No, oh, good. Okay. So ours came on so, yesterday. It's basically 84 hours without power for me. Oh, shit. Yep. Yeah. It was on for four hours yesterday. From about unlike you last night, you got your power back for a little while and then it went out. <laughs> and then it died, yeah. yep. And then it came back about um, mid Yeah, I didn't get mine back at all last night. Oh. I actually went, I went for a drive at about 10 o'clock last night. Um, went out through Narrow Tower and back in through... Moresby and actually drove right through town. Fuck, it was weird. It oh, yeah. was just dark it, pretty much everywhere, apart from like a few businesses that obviously have generators and things. Uh -huh. um, Did you see the picture I put up so, on the main street? Yeah, it was bloody crazy. Yeah, loved it. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. I've got a few others that we can. Oh, that's out that's the thing. Over the last few nights, I've actually. Yeah, over the last few nights, I've spent quite a bit of time outside here and there, just looking. Because yeah, it's been yeah. so Did clear. You? Yep. Yeah. It's been fucking brilliant. We have a few bottles of Russell's picks here at the moment, and about oh, nice, to do another five to be shipped over. Yeah, nice. Just going to put right. myself another drink. Don't forget your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, done trips to the US every September for the last 10 years, except. Freaking COVID crap. Fucking COVID. Uh. So, Anthony, how was your camping trip, man? And they reckon the buddy, you've got to you've got to have your COVID vaccine before you can travel now. Nah. Internationally. Nah. A friend shared an article the other day, and I didn't actually read it, but the headline said that it's possible that foreign travel for Australians won't be anywhere near normal until 2024. I saw that too. I saw that. Yeah. Just bullshit. I'm like, great. Not that yeah, I'd do it's much anyway. <laughs> no, but I want to go to fucking Scotland. Well, the thing and is, the like, you know, most of my friends and family are, are inside WA, and there's only a there's only a couple over east that I'd even think about going to visit. <laughs> not because we're not that close; it's just it is how it is. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah. That's so, it, Chris. They're saying we may not be traveling to 2024. I was like, ah. Um, does that, I, hope, I hope bloody Australia oh, fucking well. decides to reimburse us for our fucking passports and just sitting there blank doing fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you wish, mate. I know, I wish. Because I renewed wish. mine January right. last year. <laughs> but just before it all happens. So I got a pristine... Perfectly brand new fucking yeah, passport. I'd, just, get I'd just be music. happy if they fix the fucking. I'd be happy if they fix the fucking liquor tax so we didn't have to pay so much. Yeah, me too. And imports so we That'd don't have to fuck nice. around and we can just get stuff. Yeah, that would be very nice. I was supposed to be doing some barrel well, in September for you. Suggested. Uh, Hey. Um, yeah, That's the last crazy. proposal that was put to Parliament that I actually read for the uh, excise laws, um, the way they want to restructure it, it would basically mean an end to a cheap bottle of wine and a cask. 
Oh, great. But, I mean, by the same token, I think it's a fair price to pay as such for argument's sake if, you know, instead of paying seven bucks for a bottle of wine, we pay ten bucks. If it means we get to pay bloody five bucks a bottle less for our whiskey. Oh, well, that's right. Fair deal. A, <laughs> yep, I reckon that's a fair deal. Yep, yep, I agree. Because wine has got fucking away with it way too long. Um, well, the, the cask and the fortified wines would be the big point of impact because, like, your, you know, your 12 to $15 cask that um, you're buying now you know, depending on what you drink. So, you know, this was the example I was given. Your 12 to $15 one will become 20 bucks, if not more. Yeah. So it would be interesting to see how it would all pan out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but ultimately it would mean that you'd actually pay less for spirits. The premixes probably wouldn't change. But you'd pay less for a bottle of spirit. I'd be happy with that. Sure. Yeah. Fuck I know. Mm. One thing Phoenix said to me was try and get something to you where shipments covered by a free trade agreement and save a few dollars on airport duty, not the alcohol excise. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That would work too. <clears throat> I mean, the import duty sucks, but not right. the fucking <clears throat> outdoor exercise tax. That's a brutal one. I mean, fucking hell, Mike, but what are you doing? That's the third one you've just pumped out saying fucking... Fucking night, Pop. No, he does what he does. What do I want to drink, Ken? I don't know. Got any of that Ord Valley left? Fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I still that got a bit from left. the Australian customs team in the US. Huh. Try and get something to say but US. Just under a half left on that, Ken. Say again? Just under a What's lowest? No, not that. I think the tally's at low tide still left. Yeah, right. Right. yeah, exactly, Nigel. Exactly. And I still fucking stick it on. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Hopping around there trying to find a bottle. But just, just look at the cost of what it actually... Look at the cost of what it takes to actually produce alcohol in Australia. It's stupid. Yeah, exactly. Everyone has to change shirt. Jesus Christ. No, it's, it's only Simon. Import tax is 30%. Just Simon has to change his shirt. Yeah, exactly. What was that little hop over the couch or bed? <laughs> oh, you oh, saw that. Deal with that. Fucking hell. Yeah, we did. Fuck it out. Little jump buck. Just. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Chris. They can get Starwood in the US cheaper than we can. Exactly. Yep. Bullshit. Is that your Russell store pick? Yep, it is. It is, uh, and it, it's 
you see, nine years. Cam, did you see the one I posted to my story today? Nah, haven't been on social. Okay, so this is like the whole on the creation of the kangaroo. God says, okay, so that deer thing was a big hit. Let's work off that. Angel number one. What if it could carry its offspring with it for protection? God says, okay, that's kind of weak, but yeah, we'll add that to the list. Angel number two. What if it could kick the shit out of you? God, there it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They can certainly do that. <laughs> Kick the shit out of you. <laughs> yep. That's when it fits to Australia when you can kick the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, there was another one I saw the other day. I've got to see if I actually fucking <gasps> it or not. That's the fucking rumor. Because I can't quite remember it. Looks like Anthony's yeah. deep in thought. God, when creating us. <laughs> Ken, God, when God created ducks, waterproof that chicken and give it a kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> waterproof that chicken. I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Ozzy Man? I saw Ozzy Man reviews when. Animals fight back. Oh, they're always good. I love yep. his stuff. That was I really do. One. Especially the destination of fuck videos. <laughs> Watch Hugh Jackman Very in the Christmas Kangaroo on SNL Christmas show from about 10 years ago. All right, that means I'm just going to have to play. <laughs> Oh, one of my favourite SNL skits is still um, Eddie Murphy doing James Brown in a hot tub. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, when he, when he sings his buckwheat. So we're back. Are you watching it now, Ken? No, I'm not watching it now. I'm not watching and, it. <laughs> and yes, um, answering uh, Chris's thing is yes. Everyone has to ha has to uh, change shirt when they get up. That is fair enough. No, no, it's just no, you. Come on, come no. on, no, <laughs> come on. No, just you. It's your rule. It's your law. See, that would actually involve me getting up. And for a couple of minutes, it would just be yeah. four blank chair, four empty chairs on a screen. <laughs> so that's a quality live stream. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we change our shirts every time we do a recorded episode. So that's enough. Oh, fair enough. Yep. Yeah. 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 So we pay our dues. Well, m most of us do. Scotty doesn't always bring enough shirts and doesn't want to wear one of mine. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> oh, gee, he's a skinny little bugger, though. He'd be swimming in my fucking shirts. <laughs> mine too, yeah. He's a skinny bugger. Need to get some meat on that boy. Oh, yours would fit him better than mine would. <laughs> <laughs> I wish she wines did a shirtless stream on live and that got loose. <laughs> she did? Well, wow. Again, once you... <laughs> Remember, once you guys hit 1,000... I was going to say, sling us a link. <laughs> 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 uh... Bobby and Sam, eh? <laughs> Don't forget They're good, your Mankini ble pledge. You guys did 1,000 subscribers. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no I backing. don't recall actually agreeing to that. Oh, it, it, it's on. <laughs> oh, if, they they, if they're game to do it, I'm game to do it. Yeah. We put him. I, I put my mouth into that one. Yeah. Put my foot in my mouth big time. <laughs> Oh, no, Sam, but Bobby, oh, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, Bobby did it and everyone else joined in. Yeah. <laughs> that's freaking awesome. <laughs> well, we've done a hat one. We, we all had to change hats. Oh, yeah. that, that was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't done a shirtless one, though. Anthony, how's your no, I don't think we should. camera thing going? Say again? Anthony, how... Uh... I was asking Anthony how his uh, camera. He's still oh, his... Bobby's boob shirt. I've seen him wearing that shirt. <laughs> Jeez, what was that? They're great, those shirts. <laughs> yeah. Anthony's having a. F he's full on. He's really. He's working or studying or. He's doing something. <laughs> He's here in spirit. He is. <laughs> Anthony, can you hear us? I think he was frozen. I mean, he was doing alright earlier. He was. No, he's moving. <laughs> yep. Is he alive? Mum to pub to Anthony. Yeah. No, I think you're muted, Anthony. <laughs> yeah. You can't hear us? So you give us a thumbs us. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. You can't can hear you, anything. Well, we're can at 389, you? so I think we've got a way to go. Mm. Yeah, I know. We've got 111 to go for 500. Ooh. Not bad. Yeah, we got a while to go yet. I, I, th I think we might be fine. <laughs> I think we might scrape that one. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Can you hear us, Anthony? <laughs> Is that your dub impression? <laughs> <laughs> Or was that an attempt at a cricket? Nah. <laughs> oh, yeah, cricket. <laughs> Bloody crickets. No, we have plenty of them. Nope. We need some tumbleweeds rolling across his screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good day. Edward Jarvanen. Oh, good day. Good day, Edward. Edward. Yeah, you coming on, mate? You. Yeah. Hey, Ed. How are you, mate? Yeah, jump on. Yeah, jump on. If you get can. your opening and some bottles. Yeah. Now nah, we can't hear you, Anthony. Nope. I mean, we did earlier, but yeah, no. Yeah. It says no. Wait for it. Ken. Just said nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh dear. What have I got this? Nope. Ooh! That's Tom, you reckon? No, he's not. Nah. Some 
shoes. Oh, those ones. Yeah. Nobody's a bloody expensive. They are. I'm going to have to go find some scissors so I can pull this thing open properly. And let's try bottom of the bag. Yep. There we go. Good enough. And just pop that there. Technology issues. Yep. Have you tried yeah. turning it off and on again? <laughs> <laughs> That's the number one record solution for anything. Did you hear that? He must have heard that. <laughs> I might do that. Uh, yeah, so he, he definitely can hear us, we can't hear Excellent. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Every true Aussie knows nibble nummy's nuts before he nibbles yours. Exactly. It depends if you're into that sort of thing or not. <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> good old nummy's nuts. They're fucking good. They're tasty. <laughs> I bet they are. <laughs> what do you mean? You've eaten nummy's nuts. <laughs> nummy's <Nobby's> salted peanuts. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. I'm just so glad we don't actually know someone called Nobby right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking of that kid show. Nobby. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was Noddy. No, that was Noddy. Those cigars you recommended are like around 40 bucks here, Anthony. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it depends how close a friend Nobby is. That's it. <laughs> you close friend? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, that's it, Ed. We gotta pay forty bucks at least for a decent cigar. Oh, actually, yeah, my next cigar meeting is uh, next week. So that'll be Friday. So I might not be yeah. able to screen uh, recording. Ah, we'll work something out. Well, you said after four o'clock, then I mean, the meeting won't be till. Ages after that, so yeah. We'll I'll finish at four, but I got a party to go to Friday night. Yeah. Oh, we'll see that. Otherwise, we can day drink on Saturday. We could do that. I yeah, mean, I'll probably sounds... be hungover, but so what? <laughs> eh, what's new? <laughs> nah, Aren't scared. we always hangover? Hair, hair yeah. of the dog will work well. Yep. Yeah. Checking some settings. Oh, it usually does. Went bad when yeah. I disconnected the other camera. Ah. 100 bucks for a decent scar and bottle combo. Yep. Pretty much. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I'm feeling the attraction of feet falling. <laughs> oh, I'll be honest, I haven't had much feet today, so. I fell asleep on the couch, so I didn't actually have time to have a feed before work. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with having a snooze. Yeah. I got a 20 minute power nap today. That's oh, good. Really? Yeah. Nice. Well, I'd rather snack at this time of night than actually have a proper feed. True. Yes, it is a very expensive indulgence. Whiskey and cigars, those are very expensive little indulgences. Good, but expensive. Mm. Fucking computer's talking to me. Shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> your week is over, Ed. Then get your ass in here and drink with us. Yeah. Yeah. I'll even play. I'll even play your clip for you. 
Get my. That means you have to come on then. You smell the peat. Peat? Who the fuck is peat? They get it for the ground, then they dig it up. Eh. Cheers, Rhino. You dig it up, you throw it in a drink, and you're wondering why it's barking a shite. I'm going to try some Pappy23, my friend, has samples of his bottle shop online. I think Joe barrels and stills in the Gabbert in Brisbane. How much are those? <laughs> let's go to let's go to Brizzy, eh? Go get some Pappy23. Oh, really? Shit. Mmm. Road trip. <laughs> That'd be one long ass road trip if we're going to stop at distilleries yeah. on the way. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> we would be fucking it's take a while. by the time we reach fucking Melbourne. <laughs> and is a problem with that? No, not really. No. <laughs> no, no. I'm all for it. <laughs> Oh, you broke down a bowl. Oh, nice. Oh, the missus is asleep. She'd bark a shite if I wake her. Well, that's no bloody fun. <laughs> you need to banish her to the other end of the house so you can scream. <laughs> <laughs> that's the advantage I have of being down this end of the house. I can still scream. <laughs> Troy. Oh, good. Very good. Yes. <laughs> well, Edward, just uh, stay with us in the chat. And we'll yep. We're all good, yep. Oh, good. Time to get some more water. Actually, I should check my connection on my earpiece, see how much battery I've got. It's connecting, and no idea. nothing. <laughs> it does nothing. Try it again. 68%. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Time to get some water. Mm. All right. Yep, everybody get some water. Let's do it. as well, I suppose. Water and whiskey. Whiskey is water, but better. Mm -hmm. That's right. Water of life, yeah. I mean, gee, if you're having a 40 ABV whiskey, 60% is bloody water. Well, 58 point something or other, <laughs> with a couple other bits. <laughs> Jim's back in the house. How you going, Chief? Good, yep. Yeah. This is Scott's Down Under, holy trilogy. Pretty much. You guys tried the Glen Scotia double cast? No, it's very, very drinkable. Managed to get a couple, one around, Yay. 50, other around, 56. Damn. Yeah, I've been, uh, no, I keep hearing everyone oh, saying yeah. that the double cask is good. I need to get it. I mean, we lurking can mostly, get... working and lurking. But when you're not working anymore, Jim, jump on in. Yeah. Even if you're just having a coffee, just jump on in. <laughs> Whiskey is water with all the impurities removed. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's pure water. Aquavitae. 
It used to be there. All that good stuff. It is the water of life. Absolutely. Oh look, how convenient. Oh, that'd be interesting. I'm gonna store my nuts in the container that had my licorice in it. <laughs> licorice salty nuts? Mm-hmm. Um, Dutch licorice. So it's already salty. <laughs> Every time you say his name, Sam gets excited. I need to have some peat. <laughs> some peat. What peat? Yeah, what peat am I going to have? Yeah, you... I was just us. thinking the same thing. Yep. Yeah, I'll go for it. Something. Peaky. Do we go with a Highland Pete or we go. Uh, mm, we're going with Murray's Pete. Okay. His name, them iPad kicks charging. <laughs> oh, Pete, it's Space Eyes, mate. Right. All right, so you're going to Highlands. So, all right. You can, yeah. What are you going? 21. Oh, I haven't had that yet. I'll do the 21. Great. Good day. The mash bill. Oh, there it is. Hey, you going, Swags? Is that work? How's work, mate? Oh. That smells good. Mm. The double I haven't had a gram in this in ages, and it's bloody not. But there's a stick there from our familiarity to them, kind of the same way Penfolds taste. Like a pen box. Oh, okay. Cool. So it's got that typical Glen Scotia characteristic. Yeah, I need to get a bottle of that Glen Murray Peter. Just a good little sipper to have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> work. That's about it. I'm checking later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, swags. <laughs> Been up nearly 22 hours. I need some sleep to turn my day off. Have a good one, guys and gals, and cheers. Thanks, Chris. Have a good sleep, mate. Cheers. Cheers, Chris. Sleep well. Think I got it. Nice. Ah. Anthony's got it sorted. Yeah, definitely that. Turn your camera off. Save setting would definitely help. Mm. Oh, that was good. Drop the glass. <laughs> well, since you got a day off, Chris, I'll be watching a few streams tomorrow because it's Friday. I usually watch a few streams and catch up on some work and stuff. And I'll see you on Discord. And yeah, we'll we'll chat Wing Chun, man, for sure. That'll be sick. Good excuse for me to get over to fucking Brizzy where you can fucking have a roll, man. Yeah. That'd be sick. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that could be a fun trip. 
Yeah, fuck yeah. I love Brizzy. Big fan. I like Brizzy. Except the floods are too fucking off and Brizzy's playing else. Yeah, cheers, Chris. I'll catch you. Catch you later. Yes, Nige. I've been training. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I've got a student who trained um, Christ, in Hong yeah. Kong. In Shishanting. Vinny Sellers has the Legion Bourbon on. What? Really? Hang on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, for me. Yep. Oh, I hope you grabbed one of those, Ed, at that price. Uh, yeah. Most definitely. Yeah, check these out, Nige. I showed these earlier to Chris because Chris is a Wing Chun man. Connected. Yeah. Hi, Jen. Ta da. No. No, ah. yeah. no you're good now. Oh, you figured it out. That's the main oh, thing. I just went, went to my. I'm oh, glad you got one, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got one. Awesome. So is the pick. Yeah, they're good books, Nige. They're pretty good. You can buy them on everything. I've heard on really good things about it. I haven't had a chance to try it. Yeah, I'll be meaning to get them too. And now that I've had a look at them, they're they're pretty good books. So yeah, my my student when he went over to Hong Kong, they pretty much they were doing all the internal stuff. They weren't actually doing any drills and forms and stuff. So he's he's learnt Silent Tower and Chum Kill. And he's he's really good with the internal, so I've rolled him, he's he's definitely got the internal down pat, but he's not, hasn't done any like drills. Um so yeah, I'm going through that with him. And in every I learned basic footwork and stuff like that as well, because when they went there and he went there, the pretty much the teacher what did he say? I can't remember what it was. So pretty much they were just left at their own devices and um, I haven't read the text too much, but being a Christian thing, it's definitely going to have a shitload of internal stuff in there. But it's got really good descriptions of the forms and stuff. Um, yeah, I need to sit down and have a, have a good read of them. It does have a lot of the mechanics of the internal stuff. So he was at Christian Ting's school, um, and he trained with Nima King's school there for a bit as well. Yeah. But yeah, I've been going through him and teaching him Bill G. And he picks it up super quick. Which is good. Like, really quick. Good day. Tuscan Productions. Good day. Pubs are open in the UK. Oh, fucking cheers to that. Everyone raise your glass. Yeah, Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, damn, this is good shit. <laughs> it is. Yeah, fucking is, eh? Mm. I mean, you liked about this keyboard, the last didn't call. you? I thought you would. Glass too. Oh, yeah, that was a good glass there, but yeah, th this is tasty stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. the Ben Rick 21 Temporis. What's that? Delicious. They're not making it. The Temporis, the 21 oh, yeah. Temporis. Yeah, yeah. And I've bottled, bloody nice. I bottled a couple, I bottled a couple samples to fucking squirrel away for you know later than a track. And I've, they've just got numbers on them, so I'll have a, a sheet listed with the numbers. So I won't know what they are when I look at the fucking collection of, of samples. <laughs> squirrel them away. That's some really good deals you got there, Red. Oh man, Ed is the man for deals. He's the fucking man. Hey. 
I'm from there. Russell's 10 for 50 bucks. Yeah. Russell's 10 for 50 bucks. Actually, I saw a really good deal. Somebody was picking up fucking like That's Lager Ball in 16 for like 70 or 80. Yeah, yeah. 50 bucks. That's pretty damn good. So we normally pay. Jeez. What is it? 70. 77? Yeah. No. No, no. The Russell 10 is 65. I think. Yeah, 70 bucks for the Russell. Yeah, it's 77 for the, the single barrel. 77 for the single barrel. Yeah. The 10 is at 65. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what is that? That's an old elk. Ooh. Oh! Nope. 70, 80 for lager. Fuck, man. Yep. 70 to 80 for lager. Sold out. Fair That's deep. Is that with the cashback thing? Fuck. For a lager ball in 16. Because that, that's what I was seeing. Some people with the 70, it was like with the cashback thing, and I think it was like 70 bucks. And I'm like, holy shit. That's like half price. And I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Anthony's missing using all the internet again. Yeah. That did. The power side thing. Dang it. Getting a lot of reports. Reports of how hot. Yep. And it seems pretty cool. Got a lot of yeah. Yep. complaints about the happening. Right. Oh, they will definitely heat up. Yeah. Right now. It's going to be good. No, it, it will flick on and off every now and then. Oh, um, so you're fine. The... Oh, yeah. Yeah, shoot you. Yep. No. No, we just need to get your internet connection up to scratch and you'll be fine. <laughs> Fuck. Can't be worse than mine. Fires on all <laughs> Yeah. In the states. Yep, that's the joys of the internet. Oh, fair enough. But I think this is going to I just can't. Glenn live at 12 for 65. Good I believe I forgot. Cameron Murrell. Oh, it's an easy one to forget, man. I mean, I, I hooked up mine and went and it turned off and I went, ah, fuck. Fucking auto save fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Good deal, Cameron. Yeah, yeah fuck yeah. Definitely. Well, that's the thing. I picked up the. Queen Scotia Victoriana for 99 bucks on vintage. And that speaking win -win. of the Glen Levet, I actually got a 15 year old for uh, $99. Usually $130. A Glen Levet 15? Yeah. 
99. Dang. Nice. Yep. Yeah, so I got a message from Booze Bud that I had a special on something. I think it was wine or something like that. It wasn't wasn't liquor. It was like a decent discount though, it was like 50% off or some shit. <coughs> nice. Oh, looks like April lock in Sunday, 9 pm. Mm. It's just Aquavito's having a lock in. Maybe for Patreon. Oh, here we go. Sunday show for good for April lock in. Uh, so this path, I picked up, hang on. up a. Uh... Yeah, shoot. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Picked up a couple of things for t-shirts that he he has bottles of. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Some areas of the nine states, different shops to find and your rebuy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so eighteenth of April, nine p.m. So he's so I'm heading back up. Fringe meantime. That's gonna be like two o'clock in the morning, my time. I can do that. I knew there was something Sunday morning? going on, thinking real hard. <laughs> yeah, I was grinding with the gears. Um, take what you can in Australia, <laughs> less of a sale and more of a fair price. Yeah, totally agree. Edward just said, your internet is shit house, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> and Ed? Glenn Cadden? Yes, 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 double fucking, triple, motherfucking, yes, yes, yes. That's my personal uh, opinion on Glen Cadam. <laughs> this stuff is fucking mm. tasty as. So Good which stuff. one are you? Uh, gentlemen. You're out. I am feeling the aches and pains of work. So I am out to have a lengthy Please. sleep. Fair With enough. no alarm yeah. set for the morning. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Absolutely. All right, guys, you all take care. Enjoy the rest of the stream, and I will see you next time. Cheers. Roger that. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Oh, you're going camp again? Nice. Glenn Levitt 12 being discontinued again? No. I haven't heard any rumors about that. DJ Q-Ball. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> Peace out, bruh. Alright, so Anthony's gonna sort some shit out. Yep. Okay, oh no, I haven't heard anything about the Glenn Levitt 12 being discontinued again. Hmm. Again?
Doesn't surprise me. Well, I actually, speaking of the Glen Livet, I actually got the 15 year old for $99 the other day. Nice. Yep. Although I must be five years behind on the list years. Okay, well, in that case, yeah, it did get discontinued. <laughs> they mm. bought out that fucking Founders Reserve, which was pretty meh. Had a nice yeah, yeah. orange fruity note to it, but other than yeah. that, it was pretty boring. And then they bought out the boring grey box. Still had the paper wrapper in it, and now they've rebranded and bought out that shitty blue box, which, yep. And no paper wrapper anymore. <laughs> which kind of sucks. Bit Ed, which bottle of Glen Kettam are you been eyeballing? I want to know how much is it, because I want to get some more Glen Kettam. Now this was a hundred bucks, ten. There's only like twenty bucks more for like the fifteen, but it's been sold out and. Everywhere I can't, I can't find it at the moment. I really want to get some. So if you've got a lead, let me know. I want it. I definitely want it. No, they're not going. They're not going forty percent. They're going to unchill, get rid of the unchill filtration, which could lead to the ABV drop. So they're trying to push into the Asian market, and so now they're going to remove unchill filtered. They're going to filter the shit out of it. They're going to fuck it up. They're going to lose a little shitload of people, and because they're filtering it, it could drop the ABV down. Which, yeah. If they're going to do that, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'll go with Glen Alecky and Tamdu and Tomatin and those guys. Fuck you, shit for a traded shit. This is bullshit! Yeah, man. I'm thinking the same thing. I was like, I think that's what everyone's doing. Everyone's trying to buy up, but I, they're even starting to come out now. Listen, Glen Cadam going discounted on next. Oh, fucking looking right fucking now. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a Glen Cadam. Yeah, boy. Which ones? What have I got? First one I see is a 25 year old, 500 bucks. Yeah, no thanks. 18 year old. There you go, and a 15 year old is 140 bucks. 10 year old is 94, that's not really that discount. Where's the discounts? Where's the discounts? I think Simon's hit the wall. Uh, pretty close to it. Pretty close. Time for some kick. Yeah, I was, I was actually going to call it. I mean, I've been literally... Yeah, go since, for it, man. I've been up since 6 uh, a.m. and... Yeah, fuck that. Go get some uh, sleep, man. Yeah, no, nah, yep. Yeah. Okay, I mean, yeah, catch you all guys later. All right, man, have a good sleep. Yep. Cheers for popping in. Yeah, cheers. I'm back. <laughs> we'll catch you next time, man. Yeah, cheers. You. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Oh, 
I'm hoping the age statement of Vicky comes into circulation again in the next 10 years and that the harmony drops significantly to a reasonable price. Yeah, we all hope that, Cameron. I mean, supposedly the Hibiki 12 was coming back. I did hear that. Maybe not good discounts then. Yeah, I mean, those prices are pretty bog standard. Yeah, 95 bucks for the Glen Caddam. I mean, I got it from SM Whiskey for, I think it was 99 and then with the free shipping, so you're gonna have to pay shipping on that 95 for the 10. And the 15 is 140, which is not that bad. But saying that, I mean, a couple other bottles pay for the shipping. It's not too bad. But yeah, not, not this game, that's for sure. That one. Turn that on. So yeah, not really discounted. I do want to try that 15 year old though. I mean, for an extra 40 bucks from the 10 to 15, that is quite reasonable. I still wouldn't pass. If you're going to buy some other bottles, grab the 10 or the 15, man. Definitely, you will not be disappointed. It is a tasty beverage. It's one of those little sleeper whiskies. It is definitely going to be... Uh, it's still sitting under the radar at the moment. I mean, Ralphie hasn't really said much about it. I mean, Roy put me onto it. There's a bunch of people that jumped onto this and tried it. And they were raving about it on, on their Facebook pages and stuff. And I'm definitely one of it. I mean, this is some tasty stuff. I'm going to have to have some after I finish this dram. Because, yeah, it's, it's fucking tasty shit. It ticks all the boxes. non chill filtered, natural coloured. Um, in the, in the UK, they, it's only like 40 pounds or something. It's super cheap. But we're going to pay a lot more for it. 46%. Yeah, non chill filtered, natural coloured. It's a light Highlander. But it's just got so much going on. It's got that Klein Leashy Cragamore kind of unique depth to it. For a light highlander. I'm a fan. And the packaging is pretty specky. It's quite classy. Bobby's pretty sexy too. Mm. So I'll pause my peat. I'm going to have a little tipple of that. So if you're buying any other bottles and mix that are on special or whatever, grab, grab that, shove it in your cart. I certainly would. Oh, it is. It's very delicious, man. I haven't done a review on it yet, but yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. I mean, lovely colour. Awesome packaging. Look at that. Real old school. Fucking focus. There you go. Very sexy bit of packaging. And the, the tube is really sexy looking. I like it. Yep, it's nice. And the juice is pretty damn good. Rinse that out.
Anything like Dainston? Nah, not as multi. Like this is a lot more citrus kind of real Harland with a kind of slight little bit of toast but it doesn't have that multi Dainston characteristic to it. Are you starting up Qigong again? Nice. I mean, it's got that lovely zesty citrus kind of note to it. Mm. <laughs> it's good. It really is. Got an awesome oily viscous feel. Lovely little bit of pepper note on the sides of the tongue. But it doesn't hang around. Good little bit of floral sweetness. Light hay. Yeah, it's, it's fucking delicious. I mean, look how clear that is as well. Very tasty. Yep. Recommend it. When am I heading down there next? That is a good question, Arch. Soon, hope. No plans as of yet. Kind of, you know, COVID crap. Kind of pull. Push the chair away. Yeah, it's only 10 years old and it's it's got everything going for it. And that was the thing, like everyone, like when Roy was talking about it, saying how good it was for 40 bucks and everything like that, or 40 pounds. And I thought, oh fuck, I've got to get me some of that, the way he was talking about it. Um, and when I saw the price, I went, ooh, it's 100 bucks, oh, fuck it, I'll give it a punt and I'm so glad I did. And I immediately posted, oh, I immediately posted it on the on the thing and then I saw a bunch of other people doing the same thing and I was like fuck thank you so much for putting me onto this thank you thank you thank you this is amazing I mean it's not to everyone's palate because it is a quite light Highlander but for what you get <clears throat> and if you like Klein Leash and Cragamore and then this is like that this this is a map I find on the mouthfeel it's very Klein Leashy, but on the palate it's um, a little bit Cragamore-ish, so it's kind of... And, and it's not exactly those, but it's similar to those. Yeah, and you'd think being 10 year old it'd be quite spirit forward and stuff, but no, it's very rounded. Mm. Apple, a little bit of pineapple. Yeah, pineapple type sweetness. Mm. It's it's good. That's my thing for sure. Enjoy Young Spirit done well. Well, this is done well. It's very well, very well done. I think SM Whiskey might 
still had the 10 in stock. I didn't have the 15 though. Then again, he, he might be out, I'm not sure. I haven't been on there for a week, so I'll have a sticky bake. Let's have a look what he got. No, he's got it, 94 bucks. Same price as Nick's, but you know, you buy, buy a fucking $10 sample and you get free postage. Oh, and he's got the 15. Oh, he's got some more in stock. Ooh. Oh shit, he has too. He's got the 21 year old, the 25, the 19. Ooh. So 94.95 for the 10. 134.95. So that's cheaper than mix. And you don't have to pay the postage once you spend a hundred bucks. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. So he's out of stock at the 18. Hmm, I might have to get me that uh, 15 year old I'm thinking. Very much so. So that'll be interesting to see what this does with a little bit of age on it. Head over there tomorrow? Yep, yep. Yeah, he's got some more in stock because he didn't, yeah, last week when I looked, he didn't have any. So he must have got a new shipment. Sweet! Let's have a look at new products, what's he got? Little Bunnahaven 11 year old Sherry, Gordon McFarl. Glendronic Car Strength Batch 8. And he's got some samples of the Tambu 15, Spring Bay, Red Breast, sample, sample, sample. Architation Blood Oak. Okay, so not too much there. Still got to get freaking some Duras. I want to get that Peter Dura or whatever. That's the one I'm after. I mean, fucking hell, I can just smell this. Mmm. Just love that citrusly poured hay. Mm. Uh, well, there we go. I might have to grab that one cabin. I'll move that up. Green cabin 15. Yes, please! 35 bucks free postage. Fuck yeah. Good day. JD Bourbon Approach. JD's in the house! Hell yeah, brother! Back on the late nighter stream. Fucking oath. Back in the pub where I belong. <laughs> Sixty-one point three. That ABV is nothing to sneeze at. That's for sure.
Just got off work since 6 a.m. Got to work to make those monies to buy those bottles. Yeah, 6 a.m. though. Yikes. Smart and 12. Nice. All right. If you're gonna if you're gonna pour the tomato twelve, I'm gonna have to pour my tomato pour it in or I'll pour it finish, aren't I? Yeah. Twist my arm. Gonna have to do it. Very smooth. I think you'll like this one, Ed. Like a barrel, I mean, or not a barrel, a, a bundle of hay with lemongrass walked into it. Yeah. <clears throat> bundle of fresh hay with lemongrass. That's a pretty apt description. Tasty dream. We're chalk them all. Single grain? Yeah, I actually want to get some old age stated single grains, Ed. I'm I'm with you on that. I want to get something that's you know, because I can't get a whiskey that's older than me, so I'm thinking, if I can source a 50 year old fucking grain, I'd be pretty, pretty keen to try some of that. And I've heard some good things some, about some of the uh, age stated decent grains. I'm trying to think of the one that everyone keeps saying. Yeah, so I need to. Saw something like that. Fuck yeah. Here comes those chocolate coated raisins. I definitely need to get another bottle of this because it's not going to last. I should see if he's got any more. Fuck yeah. Well, 
want me another bottle of this mum. Lock Loman and Strathalo are finished. Oh yes. Is that what I pay for? Is that? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, 120 bucks. I mean, this is so worth. It. There you go. On SM whiskey, 120 bucks for this tomato. Cool. He's got some of that in stock. I think I'm going shopping tomorrow. Grab the tomato and the Glen Cannon 15. Yep. Try the 11.1, but think of the 8.1 or 8.4 if I can find it yet. So I've tried a few, the 7s, the 8s. I haven't tried any of the 9, 10, or 11s yet. And then I've got the 8.3. Nine bottles finished so far. <laughs> Hell yeah. I should, I, I should definitely grab a bottle of this, then I can just happily just sip away on this and not stress about it because I've got another one. Please, can I have some more? Oh yeah. More please. All day, every day. Yep. Alright, let's, let's do that. Go ahead and cut them. Can I actually do that now? I buy these bottles. I agree, JD. I totally, totally agree. I was just looking at the other tomatoes. Good day. Uh, Twelve-year-old. Bauer Ben. Good day, Bauer Ben. How you going, mate? Thirteen-year-old. Two thousand seven. I can't fucking read that. So the twelve-year-old for a hundred bucks. 13-year-old whiskey meets charity gift set. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, tomato in 2007, so that's a Gordon McPhail. 58.5%. But yeah, he's got that 14 port. 120 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Glen Cannon. So I'm only looking at 250 bucks. 255, exactly. What did I walk in about 12 year olds? Yeah, we're talking about 12 year olds. <laughs> well, the 14 year old and a 15 year old. <laughs> Just as bad. <laughs> I think I've got a place to source some decent home oil bottles for archiving. We'll head down to see if any good. Yeah, let us know, man. Yeah, let us know, please. 100 mils would be perfect for archiving. Is that screw tops or corkies? 
Maybe if, if they're a good screw top, I'm have like for plastic ones, as long as they don't split. I mean, I'm, the metal ones, you can get a lot of ones with the metal ones, but I'm just not a fan because they rust. And, uh, you know, as we all know with the old bottles, you know, you grab an old bottle and that, that lid fucking rusts and pits and goes into that white seal bit and discolour it and shit. I'm thinking the plastic is the way to go. The plastic does split, but... Yeah, as long as you can get replacement lids and shit for them. I think that's the way to go with archiving. A fucking a nice, good, a good plastic fucking seal. That you can wrench down quite some tight. But, you know, without, I mean, you can go the route of putting some paraffin or wax it or do all that jazz. I think if you screw them down, like, these are pretty good. I don't mind these. This is what, this is for messing with you. That's what the 30 mil samples come in. But yeah, 100 would be perfect. Because you can just pour a 100 mil sample and just stash that sucker away. Screw fat plastic or metal option. Okay. Yeah, that might be the way to go. Yeah, let me know. I'll definitely be keen on grabbing a few of them. I was so good at buying those bottles. So thanks to everybody who's donated, I'm going to grab those bottles. Yeah, I'm salivating just looking at them, even though I'm drinking this one right now. I'm just salivating looking at that. <laughs> Tomato 14 port. Nah. I haven't yet. Been, I did see it on the stream a little bit today. I haven't had a chance. I mean, I've been without power for... Know, four days, so I haven't had a chance to catch up on, on all, everything. It's on my to-do list. I'm going to catch up on a little bit of stuff tomorrow, if I can. If work doesn't screw me over. But yes, I will certainly uh, catch up on it. Doesn't matter. I, I think I... Wasn't I number one? Number one fucking subscriber? I have to. <laughs> It's cool, because I want to just see what you got in the fucking shop. I want to see what's in the shop. I find that interesting. And I need to do some episodes like that. I just walk into the fucking shop and just record what's on the shelf. <laughs> the mate thinks I drink too much with the empty bottles in the trash. My opinion. So my new logo, thanks to Big League Bourbon. Yeah, man, he is on to that when it comes to the logos. I know, I need to. Right here. I need to sort this out. Problem is, bloody Cubal's working this weekend and it's fucking Anzac Day here, which is pretty significant, so I can't do it this weekend. Try and find spy glasses to do without getting thrown out. Mate, I think if you just walk in and ask them and just say, do you mind if I just film this for my YouTube channel? They won't mind. No, this is not the bottles that JD sent me. I'm still stressing over that. These are the ones he bought locally in the shop, in the local store, and sent to me. Gotta start somewhere, I'm sure Ken looked like a bogan in his first video. You can look at our first episode. That was the Dale Ewan 16. It was pretty shit, but... You're tracking it? Yeah, I'm tracking it too. I checked it like three times today. <laughs> trying to see if it changed. Yeah. Well, if you're happy with that, JD, I'm happy to do that. I was hoping to get the other, the guys in on it as well. I mean, I can I can all more... Well, here, here, here we go. This is what we can do. So if I get the missus to blind pour them, and then I blind taste them, so the two glasses, I don't know what they are. So I'll go through that experience, and then when the boys are available, I'll do it to them. So I'll sip it with them, 
and bring out notes and stuff. And then I'll have the two glasses and I'll just mix them up so I don't know which is which. And then those guys can, they won't know what they are. So we could do that. Oh, wait a minute. If we're going to live stream it, they might see it. No, they probably won't actually. You happy either way? Alright. I'll hook it up with the missus. So it's now midday. Well, mid. Is it. No. I think what time is it for you? That's uh, your nine hours plus GMT, I think. So. Mass at this hour is 12.30. Just finished work, so 12. So that's going to be six. So it's like. What time is it for you? About four o'clock. Good day. Four thirty. Live wire whiskey. Good day, live wire. Yeah, so if I did it midnight, my time. Oh, I could always do it in the morning when you're not working. Let me know what's a good time for you. And we'll, we'll make it happen. Ken! Yep, the pub's open. I'm back! And hopefully the power stays stable. Yeah, don't stress about it, Ben. Just put the fucking content out there. Everyone looks back at their fucking first episodes or first videos and just goes, what the hell was I thinking? It's all a learning experience. I mean, I'll look back at my first ones going, oh, shitty lighting, the angles were all messed up, you know. And I must admit, I've been a pretty slack bastard with this setup. I'm just happy with it. Yeah, it looks fine. I'll just stick with it. <laughs> I'm not complaining about it. But I should, you know, upgrade the mic because I'm not too happy with the mic. But I'm, I'm waiting till I get my own place and then I'll set up a set properly. Get to me and I'll make it happen for showing up. Alright. I'll, I'll sort it out. I'll talk to the missus. Let her know what's happened. She knows about it. So I'll get her to, to do the blind pouring. And I'll use the two coloured glen cans. So I have no idea what the colour is. You're on a mobile band so you can give a channel what's this? Oh you're on a mobile. If I click on your name, it just asks if I want to report. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I'll grab the link. Actually, there you go. Bourbon is now a mod, so you can just post the link. That's the lazy way for me to do it. Mm. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab all those tabs that I've got open with bottle stuff. I'm going to stick it onto my other computer right now, so in the morning, I can buy those bottles. That's what I'm going to do. Because I definitely got to get another bottle this time. I will kick myself till the cows come home. If I end up Finishing this bottle, try to get another one, and can't get one without paying through the ear for it. So let's rectify that situation right freaking now. I think that, that is the tab with all my whiskey stuff. I've got so many tabs on the bottles of whiskey that I want. And I still want that freaking Catalonia. Let's grab this one. 
Today. Stick it in there. Mike stall. G'day, Mike. So feel free to jump in on the stream, guys. I know it's early in the morning for you guys. So that's cool if you can't. I said tell us a dark storm, I need to get that too. It's definitely on the list. So many bottles! So few funds, alright. There we go. I can close those tabs. Crack a lack and done. How the hell were you not sucked? I have no idea. It happens. But now if you've rectified that situation, cheers. Actually, the bot should have actually... If you just subbed them, the bot should have come up and said, um, thanks. But she hasn't. Putting my order as well today since I only have two left and they're both half full. Yeah, you need to fix that situation. That's for sure. Yeah, Ben, don't stress about it, man. Just put the content out there. It's freaking awesome. You're just showing off a, a selection of whiskeys in a bottle shop, and I, you know, they're awesome. And when when Phil does it, you know, Phil and Deeper and Whiskey Mystery, when he does it, they're freaking awesome. Everyone loves those. And I've been told I need to do it here from from Australia to show you guys what we actually can get. So it's something I've been meaning to do, I've just been lazy and haven't got around to do it. And cheers for Mike, you and Whiskey Chits doing the stream afterwards, after um Mashbill did it. That was that was cool fun. I was working and lurking. I couldn't come on because I was working, but I enjoyed the stream while I was working. God damn, I love this stuff. Mm. Good day. Wheels. Hey, Wheels is in the house. There we go. We got all we need is Mr. Whiskey just to come in. Come on, Adam. You gotta be lurking somewhere. And we got the whole fucking crew. <laughs> I know we need love and love, man. We'll have the fucking crew back. <laughs> you old fucking crew. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, hold on, I gotta mute. So I can fucking hear you. Should be out of here now. There we go. Sorry about that. I had to... Yeah, gotcha. I had to mute the uh, YouTube yeah. stream. What is it? Look at all yeah, these people in here day drinking in the US. Like, these are US know, guys. Right? Yeah. Oh, we get everywhere. We get US, UK, Australia, fucking Europe. We get fucking everybody. Oh, I We're logged in as Livewire. I logged in as Livewire. Am I Livewire? It just doesn't say, I guess. Uh, No, it doesn't say on here. Oh, okay. Does it? Yeah, yeah. yeah still, my, you, you logged in as Mike on, on, on the chat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm both. I My yeah. computer is Livewire. My phone is always Mike. Are you going to come on ours? It'll be Monday morning for you, right? Monday afternoon? Sunday? Or Sunday night? What, right now? Yeah. Well, Sunday night, your time would be Monday morning, my time, yeah. 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 Well, now I've got power back, I'll be able to fucking do it. Yeah, right? Like, geez. Did you lose any... Do you have any damage or anything? Or was it just kind of the... No, nah, I was super fucking lucky. Super fucking lucky. I mean, we... We got hit. We did the live stream on last Sunday night. The fucking power went out and I kept going until my UPS runs out. Uh, we got no damage. We had 105 kilometer winds, but a couple hours north of us, they got the massive hit of the storm. It was a cat three, 170 kilometer hour winds. I know in freedom units, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah. 
I'll have to work that out in freaking units, but it was fucking windy, and 70% of that fucking town is completely destroyed. Wow. It's just fucking gone. That's crazy. And you're in, yes. are you in Western Australia? Western Australia, yeah. 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 Man, that's crazy. So this area, this area gets hit with tornadoes very fucking, I mean, um, cyclones very fucking rarely. So nothing is built for that. Up north a little bit, they are because they get hit all the time. So we get just hit with the side of them. And it, usually they're, they're not that bad. It's the warmer water up north, right? Damage. Oh, fuck yeah, shitload. Um, so yeah, we'll, <laughs> we have to ruck and rebuild all. Yeah, it's, it's a fucking mess. So, a mess so I live like right next to the Rockies in the US, and it's like we don't have any natural disasters almost ever. Like we yeah, don't get yep. we don't get earthquakes, we don't get hurricanes, we get the occasional tornado, I guess, just like never like big ones, but I mean you don't need a big tornado, but not like Texas or Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah, I mean fuck. Yeah, I, I watch tornado season every year. I watch I follow a bunch of guys that do the storm chasing stuff because that's that's my jam. I love that stuff and I'd love to get a photo of a, a supercell because that just blows my mind when I see those images. But yeah, that's some scary ass shit. Yeah, they're like they're like, you know, two or three times the wind of a hurricane, but luckily they're like Yeah. A quarter mile wide. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. And that's what I was saying. I think I might have been my missus or somebody I was explaining today. I was like, yeah, the cyclones and hurricanes, they're big, massive power, and they just come over and just wipe everything out with a tornado. They're so frequent, and, but so devastatingly powerful that they're just narrow, except for, you know, El Nino or something. Not, uh, El Reno one a few years back. Man, that was scary as fuck, that one. Holy yeah, that's shit. that's some crazy shit, yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. Well, that's cool. Do you do you hunt or fish down there? Oh, fuck yeah. I oh, mean, okay. hunting, not so much because of the fucking gun laws are all fucked up. But yeah, fishing for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if you know somebody, you can go out fucking roo shooting or fucking... Um, we've actually got a pretty decent deer population. Um, wild pigs are a pain in the ass. Rabbits, you know, goats, all that. So yeah, there's, there's some decent fucking hunting. Yeah, you gotta hunt for fucking spiders. Kill those sons of bitches. <laughs> you don't have to hunt them, they'll just come and see you. <laughs> yeah. That's right. You didn't get all that water that forced them into your house, did you? Isn't that what happened down there? No, that was the Eastern States. They got flooded to the shit house. So they got flooded and all those fucking spiders just went fucking ballistic. Um they have pretty cool spiders that actually they're harmless. They're they're really fucking harmless. No one needs to be afraid of those. They're the wool spiders, they're only about that big maximum. Those guys are uh, ground dwelling species, so they have a little little burrow. So they hunt the wool spider. They hunt by vision and by their feeling. So they just sit on the on the ground, and I I hunt them as, to take photographs of them because I'm a macro photographer. They're awesome species. They're everywhere, and I freak people out when I get a torch to show them how to find them because you just see these little eyes fucking looking at you everywhere. But those guys, because they live on the ground, when those water came through they freaked out and went fuck we need to get the high ground and what's the nearest thing if you're not in the bush people's houses so people's yeah. houses just got fucking covered in all these fucking wolf spiders god that's it terrifying to me cool. and you just hear about all the went, shit in australia so it's just like even though those may not be yeah, venomous yeah. it just is terrifying yeah, yeah yeah if you're a bit arachnophobic that would be catatonic status you just go <laughs> so do you do you roll yeah, full right. frame cameras or are you using DSLRs yeah, yeah. or full frame? Yeah, yeah, yep. So I got a couple of full frame DSLRs and a couple of APC ones as well, depending oh, yeah. on what I'm shooting. Yeah, yeah. I don't go full frame. I, it's uh, I mean, I like the size of the sensors, but yeah, it's. I'm not quite that committed to it. I don't do it for money. So. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I mean, I. Most of it I do for the hobby, like I do astrophotography, macro photography, and then storm chasing. Um, it's my passion. I've been shooting ever since I was fucking 
Wow. I use all so you do a lot of the stuff. long exposure astrophotography or yeah. Astro. Yep. Yep. So since we had this cyclone go through, we've had four days with no power. So it's been amazing Bauer to see ben. the Milky Way. Oh yeah. Just said, and Mike jinxed it and just had a natural disaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. We don't want that touch wood. We're not going to get any of that. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, Bourbon, you, your video is fine, man. Is my video kind of jacked Yeah, up? man, don't be stressed about it. And as I was saying before, you know, to, to show off what you got in the stores is really fucking awesome for someone like me in Australia. And I want to do the same thing. And before we get too far, yes, it was, it's Whiskey Mystery. So Phil has done quite a few of those videos where he goes into a shop and he shows everybody. But he does cool stuff. Like he'll take them a pizza. He'll do all this cool stuff. Um, and I think if you just ask them, if you just ask them, I, can I film in here? I'm doing this for my YouTube channel, you know, and people will be pretty, if they say no, then that's fine. You go somewhere else. And if they say, yeah, it's all cool. Yeah. And quite frankly, it's great video if they get pissed at you. If you manage to capture it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you can get them pissed <laughs> that's at you, that's content. great content. <laughs> yeah. I got the last bottle of Jefferson's Rye Cognac finish at the local chain here that had it for $63.99, picked it up after work. Fuck yeah, Jim. Nice work. Oh yeah, Jim Moore. Look at my camera keeps jacking up on here. I gotta. I have to jump off anyway. I'm kind of working right now. I just wanted to jump on and say hi. Oh, there's nah, my camera. Thanks, there. man. I understand the fucking time zones suck balls. Like uh, you, When you were on earlier, I was working and now I'm streaming your work. And <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Well, that's all right. We got coverage. We got coverage. Exactly. Exactly. Bourbon Baller. Oh, Bourbon Baller's in the house. Bourbon Baller's on. Good morning, evening, afternoon. Yep. yep. Everyone yep. starts waking up now. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, yeah, it's only, it's 1030 in the morning here, so. Yeah, yeah. It's very on the west coast. Yep, yeah, it's twelve thirty-seven yeah, a.m. It's here. mountain time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we have four time, time yeah. zones in the continental U.S., so I'm the second one over from California. Or yeah, yeah, one yeah. over from California. So I usually work it out from because I know it's exactly twelve hours on the east coast, and then I work okay. my way across. Yeah, that's oh, okay. So it's twelve thirty there right now. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good to know. That's a good way of doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I just go, okay, if you're on the East Coast, it's fucking 12 hours and then bang, I can work it back from there. Yeah, that's crazy. Like Hawaii, it's only like eight in the morning. Yeah. No, yep. seven in the morning. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, wait, 930. Yeah. You're in California, right? Bourbon baller. Yeah, I think he's over in Cal. Yeah. Yeah, Very cool. So, yeah. so this is OBS Ninja, huh? So you use OBS Ninja instead of StreamYard. Yeah, that's what I was saying before. Yeah, this is OBS Ninja. It's brilliant. Yeah, it, it works that's, seamlessly. Yep. Yeah. And you just you have more uh, capabilities like syncing audio if you have audio problems, and because that's one thing I ha I've been having with uh, with my camera when I'm on my Windows box is it's not uh, uh, coming out of sync. Yeah, the, they kind of come out of sync, and I'm not sure why. Good day. Hobbit but my dreams. camera keeps jacking up. All right, Ken, with that, I will keep watching, but I'm going to jump off. I've got to get some emails out, but have a good night, man. Yeah, man. Talk to you later. Be safe. You too, man. Yep, we'll talk to you later. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thanks. Hobbit Drew drinks. What are you doing awake at this hour? <laughs> Get your ass in here, if you can. Did you have to get up for your little ones? Oh, are you still awake? Uh, what he was tried, so we'll see in a few days. It's no worries. Had the ups and downs with Scotch and Durban. But Jim was time for lunch. Washington State. I could ask the same as you. Well... You know, it's been four days without having any power. This is the first chance I've had to open the pub again. Man, I'm not going to go crazy tonight. But I'm having a fat time, having a few drams. This is the first night I've had drams since Sunday night when the power went out after the, well, during and after the storm. 
I mean, I have, I've had some Bosco Newells and a few other beverages, but I haven't had any grams. Which has been good to have, actually have a little bit of a break. Oh, you're on the Discord? Okay. On our Discord or other Discord? Did you see the intro video? So you're ready for Saturday night? 11 o'clock? You're going to do it? Is Jim going to be able to do it? Because Jim's the chief. He worked out the time. Some cool shops, I'm sure I can interview them and record in them. We've got literally hundreds of stores and most are not very nice people. That's the thing, you need to get someone there that is a nice person. Looks awesome. Sweet. Let them set days, no time, no problem. Sweet. Excellent. Um, we didn't get any damage here, but up north they got completely smashed. Absolutely smashed. Like 70% of the town is destroyed. It's completely fucked. And a lot of other little towns that just not equipped for any cyclone activity. Because this was a freak event. <laughs> Tick with my hair and makeup tomorrow, so I make it so nice. <laughs> yeah, we we're talking about it earlier. We need to do some cosplay stuff. That'd be awesome to come into some cosplay stuff. I mean, I'm wearing my Trek shirt, but yeah, I need to finish my costume so I can come in on one screen and be in full Klingon makeup. I'll have to check my makeup and make sure it's not completely nuked. But yeah, I've got the prosthetics. I've, I've done a full face cast to actually make the prosthetic and everything. I need to get around to finishing my costume. I've been making it myself from scratch. Yes, I sew. Need to get a red dress. Nice. Yeah, I haven't made the pants yet. I made the the shirt, and I got the full, I got the material and everything. I bought the patterns. I just haven't, I haven't. I need to sew the pants. I haven't done that yet. I'm not gonna finish the boots. Gonna finish the gauntlets. I've got all the emblems and stuff to put on there. I need to probably get another wig. How fast looking TOS era? Well, that's the best I can piece together. I've never really done any sort of cosplay before. Enjoying that tomato? I'm fucking definitely enjoying my tomato GD. This thing is so good. I'm definitely buying another bottle in the morning for a shizzle. Hmm. I have to thank you guys for that. For putting those little donations in has fucking helped me out quite nicely. That nice little bit of bit of money in to buy a bottle every now and then. Muchly appreciated. Yeah, the lapel pins and hopefully paint them to make our blue fade colour. Yeah. I mean I didn't even check the actual legit colours that they're meant to be, I just went, yeah that looks good. <laughs> Which is fine. Yeah, so I think with our current crew, I think I'll just stick for that. But if, if Shane can get around to actually getting that 3D model done, that would be cool because then I'll just do it old school TOS era looking intro. The fucking ship going past, names coming up. Ship going past, names coming up. I mean, that would look fucking sick. Looks nice. Cheers. Yep. I did the background in Blender. I made the stars. And then I found a good Trek font. And obviously, yeah, I made the logo and everything. There's a bit more to, you know, I haven't finished the timings or anything like that, but yeah. You know, I want to get the music to be in beat with it and all that jazz. But yeah, it would be cool to have the ship fucking slide through. When can he kill the people? You can kill people in the holodeck! I mean, I'm the captain, 
general, and I'm a fucking Klingon, if there's going to be any killing, it's going to be me first. And then you can have the leftovers when I'm finished killing everybody. But because we're in Starfleet, I can't do that. You know, I can't. I can't be my true Klingon self because I'm under Starfleet, and you know, you know, I've got to be nice. <laughs> and if we kill everybody, we're not going to have a crew. But I'll definitely be uh, happy to join you in the holodeck when we can just murder everybody <laughs> in all weird and interesting ways and <laughs> I can fulfill my Klingon blood. I'll definitely uh, be part of that. <laughs> Fuck off, Nightbot. God damn you. We've got a pilot. You forgot about our navigator. Well, our helmsman. We've got a pilot. You need to look, need to look at the crew roster. Yeah, Nightbot's always been an arsehole. How many main weapons? Well, we need to sort that out. I mean, when once Shane sorts out our fucking... our Khan class, and we have to decide on what era as well. Do we just, like, go in the middle and just say TNG kind of era? Because that kind of covers DS9, Voyager, that kind of realm. We would stick with that. Exactly, Mr. Coates is our navigator. Well, he's, he's in Helm. I mean, we're on a Starfleet vessel, so we're just going to have the typical complement of photon torpedoes and disrupt, uh, not disruptors, because we're not on Klingon vessel, just phases. The bog standard stuff, if we're going to be in TNG. Yes! Of course you can use your fucking bare hands. That's how we like to do it, you know? Fucking oath. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking TNG era. I mean, that covers pretty much everybody's Star Trek kind of deal. I mean, I'm from 1966 to 2009. That's mine. We will not mention anything after 2009. I'll just cut that off right there. That does not exist. But we'll get into that when we Bourbon talk about baller. shit. Just said, where the hell is Simon? Well, quantum torpedoes were only for the Defiant class, so... Actually, no, we can have a compliment of them. Simon had to go to sleep. He didn't do a pass out maneuver. He was looking pretty knackered. He'd been up since 6 o'clock in the morning, and I said to him, you're looking a pretty knackered, mate. You've hit the wall. And he says, yeah, I was just about to call. And I'm like, yeah, good man. You don't need to do the pass out maneuver and feel like a hero. <laughs> you just go to bed. <laughs> I have to agree with you, Jim. I was really excited. When I first heard the announcement that they were going to do the movie, I was like, oh, that's cool. And it's going to be in the Kelvin timeline. Okay, I can deal with that. It's a prequel. No, nah, not a fan of prequels. I always fuck them up. Because it's limited in what you can do. But I didn't mind the movie. The first one was actually alright. That's why I say 2001. Because I actually don't mind it. There's a few things I didn't like about him riding a motorbike in the car. And building the fucking Enterprise on Earth. So it's like, really? Other than that. And it was way too action focused, blah blah blah. But since then, it's been, yeah, we will not mention any of that. <laughs> no, we can have Daniel. We need him. I mean, he just has to kill people on the holodeck. That's all there is to it. I mean, you can have really, you can turn off the safeties, make it more authentic. You have to do some research on phaser specs. Yep, phasers. Torpedoes, quantum torpedoes, and all the other cool weaponry stuff we can do. I mean, you have, have to look at the shields and the shield dynamics and stuff like that. Why can't it be so dark? What's this? 
Why so can it be dark red fam and get a stupid hat put on it? Yeah! He's starting to learn how to sign out. I mean, that was the first time he officially said, I'm going to call it and go to bed. Sorry, what did I miss? Simon went to sleep. It's about the only thing he really missed. <laughs> oh, you missed on what well, we're talking about Star Trek. He's an ex-spy. You only kill people when we can't. Strictly off the record. You get caught. We don't know you. Off to the penal colony. Exactly. Like, yeah. We're still under Starfleet. So, can't just go kill him. But if the, if the mission dictates that I say, okay, you know, you need to go neck him. And I can't do it because I'm not allowed to, even though I want to. I forget, when did you stick me in the crew? Or am I just a red shirt? If you want to be in the crew, put the application in. We've got a few positions still open. If you're a Trekkie, you're more than welcome. We've got a few positions open. Have a look on the Discord. How about have a couple of... Oh, I like the way you're thinking, Nigel. I like the way you're thinking. Yeah, a couple of disruptors. Oh, have we got a cloak? Because, you know, I'm Klingon. Oh, I like I like that idea. So, we are we pushing it out towards DS9 era then? Because that's, you know, when we got some cloaking technology. Even though that was Roman in. Fuck then. We get some Klingon technology with a couple of disruptors on board. Hmm. I like I like that. I like that idea. Not less with defined class. Yeah, well that that's the problem. Well Lord Shane Long hasn't dictated to us what the class is going to entail, you know, what is it similar to. We'll have to work that out. I guess we could be sneaky. Well, it's in peacetime with the Klingons, so we might have a bit of an exchange. Cloak would be nice. Cheers, Edward. Thanks, mate. I have to be open minded. Is everyone here? There's opinion and thoughts. Let's see what happens next. Exactly. Just just do it then. Don't stress about it. How my navigation does need more crew and we need to sign the con to a specific person to set it up. I mean I think a lot of the streams are gonna be a bit hit and miss of who we have and who we don't have. Well, that is true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've got the con. Helm, the navigation. That's a little bit. I mean, Helm typically is the navigator, unless you're talking Voyager, and then you've got Astrometrics. And that's a different killer fish, because they were in the fucking the other quadrant, but, you know, I'm getting a bit too far down the rabbit hole for us plebs. And it's not like a Klingon ship where one can, you know, decide to take me in a, a battle and kill me off and take the seat. Because we're under Starfleet, so you can't do any of that. And I can't have my pet. Um. Oh shit. <laughs> the freaking dog thing. Brain fart, brain fart. Tug! I can't have my pet Tug with me. The break them to two categories because we haven't decided on our ship class yet. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I do like the idea. Exactly. Yep, no targs. I have to just go hunt targs and have my pet tag on the holodeck. Wife has sent me the Polish rye whiskey this week. Can't wait to try the cat's eye product. 
Oh, haven't heard of that. That sounds nice. Mmm, interesting. Cat's eye. That's a pretty cool name. Oops. Getting the fucking foil tab. It reminds me I haven't. The foil tab reminds me that I haven't reviewed the episode. Reviewed it on an episode. Now, I might have to touch base with Shane and see how far he is along with that modelling. Even if it's just, just a, a rough model. I mean, I could slap together a fucking Glen Khan with a couple of nacelles and it just wouldn't look that cool. I think it needs to be a Glen Khan, Glen Khan style shape, but full on Star Trek style. And I could model it, I could make it slap together with a few other assets, but I just haven't got the time. So once we've got the ship model, we can decide, okay, so this is a new model that we're creating, a new class. So then we can say, okay, well this class has element from this, element from that, element from this. So we can say, okay, well it's got cloaking from the Defiant. It's got intrepid fucking um, neuro... Um, that stuff, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that. <laughs> so Good we day. can say what it actually has. Shane Long. Oh, speak of the devil. But the company is big because of their obtaining line. Oh, you mounted courts. So we're just talking about the ship. How far are you on the modeling of the Khan class? Because we're just talking about where we're going to pull in elements of other classes to flesh out our class. So we're saying because I'm a Klingon and I'm in Starfleet and it's going to be in the TNG era, you know, a bit flexible there, we're going to have warp capability and maybe some hidden disruptors and all that kind of cool stuff. So how big is this vessel and how about three to four more hours probably it won't get to until tomorrow oh that's cool so if you can give me the model pretty much roughed out then I can push it into the intro and make it look cool and that would be that would be sweet. And then I could push it out into the intro. Oh, I'm so fucking pumped for this shit. <laughs> you going pretty detailed? Fuck yeah, that's what I want to hear, because that's what I was going to do. Fuck yeah. Yes, buy a neural gel packs. Okay, yeah, that, that, thank you, Nige. That's what I was thinking of, buy a neural. Yep. So, if we can pull something in from, you know, the Intrepid. So, with the buy a neural, we'll have fucking cloaking, some disruptors, sedated a convergency plane. <laughs> Fine. The beauty is the front or nose section has been modded as a new weapon. Ooh, so, okay. So you didn't do the opening of the glass as the fucking deflector dish? So the deflector's underneath. So this is why I want you to make the lapels for me to paint. <laughs> Large photon array. Ooh, the fires out all different directions. Oh, I like the sound of that. It fires out, and it has massive tractor beams to collect whiskey. <laughs> Whenever we go to a civilization that has awesome liquor. <laughs> if 
Fuck yes. It's officially one, going to call it myself. Alright, Commander. Thanks for popping in. We will talk later. And of course, the captain quarters contains a rickhouse. <laughs> nice. Cheers. So, Doc, are you going to be officially known as. The Chief Medical Officer Doc Broad Horizon, or do you want to be still as Doc Schlong? Because <laughs> I've got you in the credits, I don't know whether you've seen the video yet. Full of 400 plus years old juice. Yeah, excellent. And yeah, we, that's something we need to think of a name. Are we going to call it Ten Ford, or are we going to call it some cool bar name? We need, need to come up with a cool bar name. So that'll be my personal collection. That'll slowly push out to the mess. Ten Ford. Ten Ford. How about Good day. <laughs> Jason Busey. G'day, Jason. How you going, mate? Nah, all my whiskey is safe, and I'm fucking happy about that. That's for sure. Now, I did say I was going to add some peat. Yeah. We've got the structures of fucking islands. <sighs> I think I'm just fucking bog standard love the ball in 16, I I think I might just go for that. Take this out of my fucking head since no one's on the stream. Unless someone wants to pop in. Actually, I need to fucking kill this, so yeah. Staff meetings? No worries. I'll be here. I'll hold up the fort. Sounds good. You can have some too. Nice. Get to work on the uh, intro and the other bits and pieces. Gotta get some music and some Star Trek clips and stuff like that. Saturday stream. Should be good fun. Nerd out over Star Trek with some whiskey. Fuck yeah. Nom nom nom. That's some good shit. That's definitely fucking half dead. That's a wounded zebra for sure. Bleeding all over the fucking place. So you're going for the Lager 9, Nige?
<laughs> I should have not checked Discord for ages. It's having too big. Oh, there's a shitload of stuff. I missed a whole bunch of shit. Uh, please submit your application to rank a position on board the USS Dramlots. The search and discovery on corporation and statues so a list of rejected doctrines. <laughs> they decide for the next round of Roomba. <laughs> Additional <laughs> limb support to skeletal systems and bipedal creatures. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cadet fourth in the field of fucking with human living beings. <laughs> Most illogical. <laughs> Cadet fourth here applying to work with a third commander rejoicing the science division is applied for his own lab, which would like to grant him some natural experiments. I like the sound of that. Shit, I've got a bunch of stuff to fucking catch up on. Have to catch up on that later. Lugger 16. Yeah, we put Sam and Simon to bed. He's been up since 6 o'clock in the morning. Lugger 16. Jeez, nice. Mmm. Never get tired of drinking this shit. Could always be better, but it's fucking good shit. Yeah, Simon actually put himself to bed. He didn't do a pass out. He didn't do the Simon maneuver. He officially said, I said, Oh, it looks like you're about to hit the wall, mate. He's like, Yeah, I was just thinking about calling it. I'm like, Yep, go to fucking bed. So, do you see the intro mock up video, Nige? Still your fave? Yep. It's definitely one of my faves. I need to catch up on all that. Full on nerd fest. <laughs> Good stuff. You gonna come in, Dustin? Intro was great. Nice. It's only a mock up. For that kind of feel, and if we get the ship in time, then I can have that flying through. This will look fucking awesome. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's good to have fucking power back. It's been officially on for 24 hours now. This is good. Because it fucking stays like that. It's 
gone a bit quiet. Come on, there's eight people lurking in here. I know half years are working. But for those that aren't, what's better, having power back or having air conditioning back? Well, I actually don't need the air conditioning at the moment. And you kind of need power to have air conditioning, so I would say power would be the best one. Because air conditioning is great, but it doesn't work too well without any power. And I haven't had the fan on all day. Which is pretty rare. So for the next few months, I won't be sweating my balls off. Awesome. Win-win. I think the best thing that actually came back was the freaking phone connection, so I could actually talk to people. I could check my emails and do all that crap. I had no power, but I could at least connect. But I think I'd rather have some form of connectivity than the power. Because I've got a generator, and then I can run fridges and freezers and shit, so that's not a problem. Just couldn't do anything like this, streaming and shit. Unless I worked out how to wire it in. But the connection for the phone's still a bit flaky, and the power's not... not up to 100%, but yeah, it's gonna take quite a, quite a while to get that infrastructure back up and running. But seems pretty stable at the moment. You know, flicked on quite a few more areas. So yeah. We are definitely a lot luckier than the poor old bastards that had all this shit destroyed. I mean looking at those photos from up north, fucking hell man, they got fucked up. When I talked to my mate up there and he was, he had no damage whatsoever, he was lucky. Well he had a, a couple, a little, little bit, tiny bit, but yeah. I was expecting to hear a horror story, but yeah, he was very lucky. Yes. Definitely feels good to be hanging out with you guys again. I did miss it. I'd be stuck in in the dark. <laughs> Don't fuck all. <laughs> no power, no internet. It was pretty fucking boring. Playing fucking free cell on my phone and shit. <laughs> Card games on the phone is all I all I can fucking do. But being a photographer certainly helped because I had. You know, I've got mobile and portable lighting so I could I'd light up the kitchen and when we're cooking on the barbecue and stuff like that, I could light it all up. So it's pretty much like world camping. Glamping style.
Mm. Well, we're four hours and fifty-two minutes in. I think I'll just kill it at a five-hour mark. I think. Nothing wrong with glamping? Nah. I prefer roughing it out in the bush, but the glamping was pretty cool. We still had most of the amenities, and but yeah, it was good cooking on the barbecue and sitting around and had a couple of drinks and had a feed. And I got a bunch of awesome photos of the night sky over the city with no light pollution. Quite a few comments of people saying it was pretty amazing to see the night sky. I'm like, yeah, well, that's what happens when you don't have fucking light pollution ruining everything. Not sleeping on the ground unless something is wrong. Yeah, I agree. I mean, gone the days when I used to be able to just fucking sleep on the ground. The old back can't handle that anymore. Dude's photography is amazing. This dude? Thanks, man. <laughs> I've got some pretty cool shots to process to, uh, to show off soon. A couple of iconic things from the area. All lit up with the Milky Way over the top of them. I mean, it was a real... A pretty, pretty epic time to actually have the power drop out for multiple days. <laughs> that dude. <laughs> That's it. Um, yeah, it was pretty awesome. Not only was it straight after a cyclone, but we had clear skies like last night. Not last night, the night before. It's amazing what you can see when the lights of the city are not missing things. Yeah, exactly. I mean, most people in you know big cities like New York and stuff, they've never seen the Milky Way. They just I think the statistic I did read was like ninety three percent of people have never seen the Milky Way. And back in, I think it was 1993, when New York had a massive blackout, and they saw the Milky Way, they were freaked out because they didn't know what the hell they were seeing, and they were just calling emergency services and fucking triple, I mean, triple nine, was it nine one one and all that crap, just freaking out like, what the hell is going on, kind of deal, because they had no idea, no idea what they were seeing. That is pretty messed up. And I had the, you know, we've got the advantage here of being in Australia. You don't have to travel too far. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to travel too far out of the, the city. You know, you can't really call this place a fucking city. There's only a population of almost 40,000. It's not really a fucking city. <laughs> Damn city, people. <laughs> um, I've only got to travel 40 minutes and it's pitch black. It's not perfect black, but it's pretty close. It's it's a lot better than what most people see. And that's literally 40 minutes away. And if I go out a couple of hours, then it's it's black black. And most people don't have that luxury. They can't do that. This is a real shame. So it was pretty cool to cruise around the town slash city to see it all in pitch black and you know everyone commenting on the night sky and that's when I went out and got a whole bunch of photos but yeah as I was just saying on the the first night after the storm there was quite a bit of cloud cover but I still went out anyway because there was quite a few clear patches but it was a perfect harmony of different events not only did the storm go through because normally you only get a blackout when there's a storm and so, you know, the power goes out, you can't see anything because it's all fucking clouded over. So this was really cool to be able to see the night sky after, right after a storm. But not only that, it had no moon, so it was on a new moon, no moon influence whatsoever. And then on top of that, to be right in Milky Way season, so I can see the galactic core right above. So having those whole factors all together at the perfect time, that, that's, 
That's once in a lifetime. I can travel about 20, 30 minutes and get pure black and beautiful stars. Yep, exactly. I'm in the same boat. Glad I go to Finland every two years and see the real sky at night. Yep. Lived out in a real suburb and I lived in an urban suburb in Boston. The difference is not. Yeah, totally. Well, it's like when I was in Europe, when I was in the middle of Berlin, I couldn't see a fucking thing. It really bummed me out because I was like, fuck, I'm in the Northern Hemisphere. I want to see fucking Polaris. I couldn't see shit. Couldn't see the Big Dipper. Couldn't see any of that crap. Because I don't get to see that down here. No, nah, I could see fucking a couple of planets and a couple of real, real bright stars and the stupid fucking moon and that was it. Couldn't see shit. No, I think it's a real shame. Could you see D's? D's nuts? <laughs> is, that, is that what you're referring to? <laughs> I mean, when I was a kid, the lights used to go out at one o'clock in the morning. It was great. It was something to look forward to. You'd be out there, and the lights would go out, and boom. The night sky just open up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know that fucking moon. God, that thing is such an annoying piece of shit. Photon reflecting chucker. The photon chucking reflector, that's what I fucking call it. Because that's all it is. It's a giant fucking mirror. Thing shits me. I mean, the moon is cool, but not for so many fucking days a month we have to put up with that damn thing. I just can't be dark most of the time. It's the worst, you know, you get a clear, beautiful night sky with no wind and dew and humidity and all that crap and then you've got this fucking moon. The Alborales, big fan. I mean, watch our review on it. We all, for our top 10 of 2020, we all had that in our list. It's 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 a really good dram. If you can find it for the bang for the buck for that dram, 100% grab it. Have to go camping, just not like when I did when I was a scout, sleeping in the snow and rain in a tent. That shit is over. Oh yeah, you don't want to rough it. I mean, you gotta you gotta take your luxuries with you. You don't want to be fucking in pain and miserable. You want to enjoy your camping. So whatever you need to do to enjoy your fucking camping experience, fucking do it. 30 euros, buy it all day every day, man. I'm interested to know about the availability of the Bar Arborellis because, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a staple release or not. I haven't really looked around to see what the availability of it is, but yeah, I highly recommend it. I've only got the one bottle at the moment. Wouldn't mind grabbing a couple more because for what you pay for it, yeah, it's like 60 bucks Australian in here, so 30 euros, yeah, that's that's pretty good price. It's, it's fucking good for what you get. Glen Grant has really stepped up the game. It's a good dream. Yep, I'd grab it. For sure. I wouldn't think twice. Watch our review on it, we all thought quite highly of it. And we mentioned it quite a few times on our <laughs> reviews post reviewing that one. Buying it? Yep. No, I would. For sure. Yeah, because I don't know about the Valabita. We were actually the first ones to get it in Australia. It actually got released to the Australian market first. Which is pretty cool. Considering we're a pretty small market when it comes to the grand scheme of things.
Yeah, Anthony, I was just talking to my um, astronomy buddy the other day while we were discussing going fucking camping, just grabbing our telescopes and just heading fucking bush for a couple of days. So I need to go. Just got to time it with the weather and the stupid moon phase and just go out and fucking... Yep. Do some... Do some imaging of the galaxy stuff. Astro stuff. But yeah, I've got some cool pictures coming. They're gonna look pretty good, I think. Hopefully. Yeah. And I didn't set up your can away from the adults so we could drink. Yep, that, that's it. And now you just get to do it in luxury. Go out and camp, enjoy the outdoors, and have a drink. Bloody ice. <laughs> 200 euros tonight for scotch. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. You can do it. Fucking do it, man. Now, the Arboralis is good. It's good shit. Actually, I haven't had some of that for a while. I won't have some now, but next stream, I'll definitely have some. I think I've got a half a bottle left. Oh. Ah, quite a bit more. I've been drinking everyone else's. So there you go. I've got shit like this. Yeah, for 30 euros, buy it. Fucking nice. I'm gonna fucking have some. I only had a little bit of heat. It's not like I'm assessing it. I know what it's like. Nah, this is a good little drain. This I kicked it out of the park with this one. The only problem I'm going to have is with the wind. Damn shite is sticking around for the next few days. It really messes with my outdoor relaxing and drinking. Oh man, I totally fucking hear you. Don't ever come to this place. This place is fucked when it comes to wind. Five hundred and seventy-fifth day in a row. Jesus, Nige. You need to sort out some days off, man. Fuck. Alright, mate. <laughs> Cheers.
Mm. Nothing wrong with that. Good little dram. It surprises me how much is going on in the glass with this for NIS at a fairly decent price. It just has a really good complexity. Glendronic 10 or Tullus... Glendronic 10? Glendronic 10 or Dark Storm or Glen Scotia Campbelltown 1832 to buy? Which one? I would have gone crazy to work every day for more than a year. Yeah, but that's the joys of running your own business. Every day's a work day. Glendronic 10. What the fuck is the Glendronic 10? I didn't even know there was a Glendronic 10. Mm, Glendronic 10? Is that Glengoin 10 or Glendronic 10? Or Tulliska Dark Storm, or the Glen Scotia Campbelltown. Exactly, Notch. Yep. That's the downside of owning your own business. 24 7. Like, I don't have a shore front. Shop front is always open, but. Done that. Got the t-shirt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, me too. Yeah, I don't have a shop front, but I'm on call 24-7. And I could get a call right now. My shit's broken. Fix it. So, yep. Which is fine. What I signed up for. Tell us more about that Glendronic 10, JD, because I'm a bit confused by that one. The Glen Scotia Campbelltown 1832. I don't know about that one. Me, personally, out of those three, I would grab the Dark Storm. Unless I travel only exclusive, it's a good fucking telescope. You can always get both to drink them and tell what you decide to replay. <laughs> and I know you like the Tasker, the Dark Storm is. I've got that in my shopping list to buy. Because that's the travel only. Oh! Oh, the Peter Port! Oh! For me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'd be all over that. Fuck, I want, that's the one I want. That is the fucking thing I want. That Peter Portwood. That's, that's the one I've been fucking drooling at. Ah, oh, okay. Yep. Well, me, I'd be grabbing that. Straight up. Yeah, that, that's the fucking thing I've been fucking <laughs> And, considering Glendronic is now going to shit, Yep, buy that. That's me personally, but I'd still be happy with that type of skid bar, so. In fact, this is just a good little fan. Glendronic Ford. Foggy, foggy, Fargo. Not Fargo. <laughs> Age 10 years. That's that Peter Port, man. That's the one I've been wanting. I've just never seen it. Well, I pushed it out of my memory. Rishi Sherrod, Highland, Single Malt, Matured in Fine Pedro, Menes, and all the rest of Sherry Fest. That's the Forge. Yeah, that's not the Peter Port one, though. No? 
I definitely think that some of those Glendros are gonna go way up in price. Now that they've announced that they're gonna fuck the normal expressions up. Some of the old bottlings I think are gonna get pretty damn expensive. What a joke. It'd be interesting to know what Rachel Berry's actual opinion is on that. She's probably got no say because it's all the fucking fucking coin counters. And she's just making the spirit of it. Fucking going backwards and making it unfiltered. I mean, making it filtered. That's... Why the fuck are you fucking... I just... Yeah. No words. Got no words. That's a good drink. Been some while. Blech. It's been a little while since I've had the Abaros. Oh, fuck. I mean, coming straight off that Lagavulin 16, this is still kicking ass. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be disappointed with this one, Eddie. And for the price, it's a winner. I mean, from those three JD, uh, yeah, that port would, that'd be the one I'd want. Well, I haven't picked any whiskies that I haven't liked tonight. That is that is true. There's a few that are a bit meh. And then I could go Johnny Walker Black. <laughs> I could really fuck myself up and grab that white label. Bing. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've picked some, picked some nice stuff. I started with the green label. Um, what to have straight after that? And for the green label... Oh, then I want the Glen Alecky 15. Yeah, fuck, that's a winner. And then... Had some of the Martin. Had the Ben Rake 21. Yeah, all out of the park fucking whiskies, for sure. Lugger on 16. Don't need to see any more. Yeah, all good fucking brands. Oh, the Glen Cadam. Fuck yeah, good shit. And now, up rolls, yeah. For sure, all good dreams. We just love whiskey. And that's why we're all here. Because we all love whiskey. Cheers to that. Fuck yeah. Oh, you finished the 12 year old. Bye bye to Martin 12. You'll be surely missed, but thoroughly enjoyed. Here's to the next stream. Fuck, this is good shit. I'm currently, after having the drams and coming off that lager, 
The palate is better than the nose. The nose is a bit thin and watery. That's probably because the peats killed my nose, but the finish, man, was fucking great. <laughs> I'm with you, Anthony. I walk into a bottle shop and they know my fucking name. <laughs> yep. Well, I did say I was going to kill this stream at five hours, but it's now currently 1.41 a.m. So, I'll push it till two o'clock, and then I'll kill it. Go get some Z's, and then I'll be catching up with a few other streams tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to stay up to a Roy stream, because that's like fucking 4.45 a.m. That's, that's definitely Z times for me. Unless I'm going for a long train. I think Scotch for Dummies, they're having a... Zen call at 9am, I think it is. Somewhere around then. Which I think it's the same, yeah, that's the same time that Cut Strength Whiskey goes online. So you ended up with a bottle of oil now. The shopkeeper pulled it out from the time the counter. Yep. And I have that connection with one of the guys here. He'll contact me when he's got something in. He goes, he'll, he'll, he'll message me and show me the pictures of <laughs> these bottles he's got in. Or when I walk in there, he goes, Hey Ken, I got this. It's not even out on the shelf. Yet. VIP treatment and buying products, they send me discounts to buy more. Yep. That's the thing. If they know they're on a fucking gravy train, for someone who comes in and buys stuff, they're, they're quite keen to offer discounts because they know you're going to buy more. So it's a win-win for them. And it's a win-win for us because we get to get stuff and we get a bit of a discount. And you don't mind spending a bit of money with someone who actually, you know, takes the time out to help you out and chat with you and, you know, let you know when bottles come in and all that kind of stuff. Comes down to the old adage, service is key. You don't want to walk into a cold, fucking miserable, they don't know you and you don't know them and... You know, you just walk in and see a bottle and you buy it and you just pay your money and you walk out again. I mean, that's fine, but it's nice to have, you know, you walk in and they know you, you know them kind of deal. <laughs> and that's, that's the kind of shop you always go back to. Even if you don't know them by name, but they always friendly and greet you and like, oh, you're back again? Yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> so sure I know the workers and they know whiskey. Exactly, exactly. If they know the shit, that's what you, you don't mind talking. Because the last thing you want to walk in is like, ask, oh, do you need any help? And you're like, yeah, I'm looking at such and such and they haven't got a fucking clue. I'm like, nah. We got the six bottles. All right, you got to tell us what those bottles. So I know you got the eyebrows. Did you get that Glendrode Peated Portwood? Because I'm super jealous if you did. Can you send me a sample of that, please? Just a little, little sample, just so I can try it, please. <laughs> yeah, what did you end up with? Let me draw.
They know your palate and will let you know when things come in that agree with you. That's why you just... That way, you just don't spend your money on a whiskey that turns out to be shite. Yeah. Fucking nice. An extra bottle? Oh, I mean, you don't have to do that. Just a sample. I'd be happy with the sample, man. I need to talk to Chris to try and sort out how to get stuff from the States and Europe. Well, to rephrase that, into the country of Australia without getting fucked up. I need to find... I'm going to talk to Chris tomorrow about it. Because he's got a... He uses a fording address in Florida, which has a liquor license to ship shit, so... I think that might be the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, I need, I need to find a fucking path. Takes the bottle, find out how you don't like it, or even a second. Yeah, that's exactly right. You can't judge one single bottle. Or even a sample. You need to explore that bottle. Let you know on that for sure. About the shipping to Australia? Yeah, I'll let you know. Yeah, I need to find out. Well, Chris seems to, and they just seem to do it a lot. They've got it all worked out. It's a fording dress. You're in a position that allows you to spend a fair amount on scotch? Fuck yeah, do it. If you can spend the money on it, but yeah, spend it on yourself, man. You don't have to spend it on me. I'll just be happy with a little fucking sample. And then I'll draw trying to find a bottle for myself. <laughs> but that, yeah, that quarter peak one is definitely one that's, um, yeah, that's one I've always been drawing over. And peak, yes. Port, yes. Put them two together. Yes, please. And if it's anything like that traditional peated, wow. Two hundred turn it. We well, didn't say three hundred. You did say three hundred earlier. It wasn't two hundred. Did you say three hundred? Maybe I was mistaken. Mm, can't see it now. So what bottles did you end up with? Let us know. Oh, you did say it. Okay, my mistake. Okay, this nose has opened up a little bit now. Probably that mug of wool and has escaped my palate. Very light and fresh. Hmm. Great finish. Fucking great finish. Yep. I whacked that one out of the park for an NIS fucking bog standard Glen Grant. It's not only me saying that. Q-Ball's been saying the same thing. Fucking Scotty's been saying something. We've been... Waxing lyric about this dream.
hope they're bringing out as a staple of this. I haven't seen anything about that. But yeah. I know that Glen Grand is definitely stepping up their game. And our last episode was the 15. And that's pretty damn good. And at 50%, it's a little pricey. For what you get, but it's still a solid round. And just the box down at 10 is good, but yeah. They've, they've definitely made made their distillery a little bit more fucking appreciated. And their packaging is pretty good. The new packaging I do like. Yeah, me me too, Anthony. Me too. Glen Grant Abaros, yep. Glen Scotia Double Calf, yep. Martin 15, yep. Edward Old Belton, ooh, fuck yeah. Two Glen Grant 10 and a Lock Lomond 14, ooh, fuck yeah. Yep, that's a solid fucking little hit of uh, drams right there. Dan's Trey. That's a nice little collection. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, the Bellinson's is the one that I've been wanting to fucking get my hands on too. What picky edible? Everyone keeps saying that that double cast is a bloody good one. I haven't seen it myself. Not that I've been looking too hard, but then you keep talking about it. And I haven't had anything from Glen Scotia that I haven't liked yet. Yeah, that's a solid little bag there. Martin 15. I like the sound of all of those. I mean, the Lock Lomond, fuck yeah. Yep. Thumbs up. Good fucking selection. Someone please tell the shit to quit hitting the fan. I'm presuming you're saying oh, you'll save that bottle of the Glendron thing. Oh man, that is so fucking awesome. I owe you big time. Someone please... <laughs> Say the shit to quit hitting the fan, as in your just in general or the internet or the shit in the fan. All right, stop fucking hitting the fan. Shit, stop it. There you go. Hope that helps. Let's raise a glass, old man Joe. Let's stop the shit hitting the fan. I did say 0 200, so we've got five minutes. Nom, 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 nom. I can certainly keep drinking them. I'm fucking enjoying this. Yeah, this is opened up now. A lot better on the fucking house. It does splatter all over the fucking place. Ah, oh, work has been shitty. I want to start drinking in the Mother Pub. Well, the Mother Pub will always be here for you, man. Always. And I totally understand the fucking shit work condition problem crap. Yep, I'm totally here, man.
advanced in prisoner. Ooh. Boston does pretty good stuff from what I hear. I've never actually hit any myself. But I like what they're fucking doing. From when everyone, everyone else is talking about Boston. So where does the prisoner sit in the Boston lineup? I haven't heard of that one. Gotta get you some beard oil delivered. Hell yeah. Always need beard oil. All this dry weather dries out the old beard, you know? Yeah, me too, JD. Me too. I'm stressing about it, but yeah. Hopefully it uh, gets sorted out. Works better if you drink it? It does. It lubricates the insides and then comes out to the beard. You know, it makes it all nice and soft and plush. It's like conditioner for your beard. Yeah, I keep chip I keep checking on the fucking shipment and I haven't heard anything yet. Uh, yeah, I've definitely gotta to talk to Chris to sort out. And he did say it was like seven bucks a month to hold the stuff. <laughs> <coughs> Looks like the Simon chair, he's alive again. He's supposed to be sleeping boy. Decided to resurrect himself just as I'm about to call it. <laughs> and I won't be doing a Simon Maneuver, I'm going to be punching Z's. He was doing dishes? Yeah, I think he was doing dishes through his eyelids. Charge these little suckers up. There's a lot of 74%. I'm gonna check earlier. Oh, they're 99% they're on, the, on the pod, but the pack is 38%. So, yeah, let's chuck that up. Right, I'll make sure I do that. Got to give him props for his dedication, that's for sure. So he's had his power nap and he's come back Jesus when he God, should be yeah. sleeping. <laughs> You're a mad bastard. <laughs> Still, I think I'd do the same fucking thing. <laughs> Fuck, it's freezing, man. Jesus Christ. Oh. Change his shirt. He did change his shirt, yeah. And it, it's quite ironic because you just come back on when I'm just about to call it quits and go hit that hay sack oh, myself. Really? Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. That'll be alright. <laughs> but, yeah. But I'll, I'll kick on for a few more minutes. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I heard you shuffling around there. Did you end up pouring something? Yeah. Just going to do a bottle kill. Oh. 
That's the Archie Rose. Yeah. The Rye. Yeah. The Rye malt. Yep. Now you've twisted Ken's arm to stay up. Yeah. It doesn't take much to twist my fucking arm. Total with shipping and tax, 315 euros. Can't wait to pull these. Yeah, here's, here's the list that JD just bought. So he got himself the Glen Grant Arboralis, which I'm sipping on right now. Have you had that song? Oh, yeah. Yep. It's a fucking good drop. The Glen yeah. Scotia double cast. Tomartin, 15 year old. Edgedor Bellachin, 10 year old. And two bottles of the Glendronic 10, which is the ported uh, peat port finish. Yeah, and a Loch Lomond 14 year old. I mean, that is a pretty sexy fucking bag of scotches yeah. right there. Anthony just said he woke up just to kill the bottle for us. What a mate. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Since you're going fucking kill that bottle of Archie, I'll go with some Aussie. And I'll go have a little tipple of the old Starwood. Oh, yeah. For my nightcap. And then I'll go punch some Z's myself. Fair enough, yeah. A little bit of mesquite. Well, that's a different fucking nose compared to the fucking Avarellas I just had. <laughs> <laughs> just a bit. It does smell good though. It reminds me of the last few days when I've been. Having bacon on the fucking jump buck. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> the jump buck. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that blew my mind when I was sitting there fucking she was cooking up bacon and fucking shit for brekkie and I went Oh fuck, it's jump buck <laughs> <laughs> And immediately busted out my phone and took a fucking photo and and I couldn't post it, I had no fucking connection. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you saw the picture though after the oh, yeah, both. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh fucking hell. And we, we did cook up some pretty mean fucking feeds on that bison. Yep, yeah, the jumba does it jump. <laughs> it, it does. does. Yeah. I can, I'll send you an email to the Gmail account. Right, cheers, OJ. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll talk to Chris later on today and uh, find out about that porting service. I think it's the same one I was looking at. Oh, okay. It's a porting service in Florida. Yep. And they pretty much hold, you pay to hold the bottles, you get to just under five litres and then ship it out. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. You may have to explain what a jump buck is. Okay, so we got a <laughs> store here called Bunnings, which is a hardware store, similar to what you guys got in the States. Um, what's the big fucking hardware store you got in the States? Um, no, not Walmart. It's, oh, it's, it's not Walmart because they got a bit of fucking editing. It's, it's like... Um, Oh, I just had it then. Um, um, not Bath and Beyond. Um, it's a fucking name. Anyway, it's a big fucking chain like that in Australia. And the dumb fucks decided to... Home Depot. Bingo, thank you. Yes. Home Depot. Yeah. So it's like Home Depot. And they have a bog standard barbecue. It's the bottom of their range. So it's, it's uh, got a grill on one side and a hot plate on the other, and it's a four, four fucking knobby fucking 
grill cooker fucking barbecue thing. So Bob Stanley, it's called the Jumper. That's the name of it. It's a pretty iconic name. So Simon has a pretty interesting story because he fucking bought one and packaged the fucker up and spent a stupid amount of money to send it back <laughs> to his family in fucking Switzerland. And the thing only got used burners, yes, four fucking burners. <laughs> then he got used a couple of times and then just rusted into a pile of shit. And the iconic Australian jump up barbecue, or all of the Bunnings range of barbecues or grills, do exactly that. You put them out in the fucking patio or in the backyard or wherever you do in Australia and they just rust up something chronic, instantaneous. And poor old Daniel in Ireland. <laughs> West Farmer's own fucking Bunnings decided they were really smart and decided to actually branch out to Ireland and other parts in the UK and it completely failed and it was a complete absolute total disaster and pretty much put a lot of stores out of business and completely fucked up something chronic. So poor old Daniel had to... Yeah. deal with that shit and put those fuckers together and try to sell them and his store almost went under <laughs> so the whole Jumbuck story is uh, pretty fucking funny from yeah. our point of view <laughs> it's complicated it is complicated Simon 10 bottled and 25 days finished already only Glen Farkas 105 left the pour so you haven't cracked oh fuck this nose on this thing is stuck Aussie bush all day. I'm gonna go camping right now. I've never had it. Glen Farkas 105. Mm. You haven't had that, have you? No. I've had the Glen Dronic car strengths. I've had the Glen Alaki car strengths. Um, what else? So it's like Fuba. Yep. Ah, fucked up beyond all recognition. Yeah, someone who knows the military slang. <laughs> Anthony, I'm trying to think, you were, did you serve, because I'm thinking, I can't remember if you have or haven't, I apologise if I've forgotten, oh, we got the half a bottle, what do you think of the 105, JD? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good old snafu foo bar and crafted. You might not know. You might not know crafted. <laughs> That's a good and, one. And talking about the jumbuck, can remember the jumbuck ute? <laughs> oh yeah. So there's Australian fucking. <laughs> is it Australian ute? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's made by Proton, which is a Malaysian company, but it is Australian. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then they branded it as Jumbuck for the Australian market. And it's a piece of fucking shit. No one ever wanted the fucking thing. It's a piece of crap. So the Jumbuck barbecue is a piece of fucking crap. You've got the Jumbuck ute. Which is a piece of fucking crap. It's literally powered yeah. by a 1.5 litre four cylinder. <laughs> yeah. So it's like the fucking, those little Jimny fucking ute pieces of crap yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. They were a piece of shit, yeah. You ain't going nowhere with it. <laughs> JD Bourbon Approach. Just said 105 kicked my ass the first two times, but the Russian in me kicked its ass back. <laughs> you kicked its ass back. Yeah, I, that's what I was going to say, because that 105, it, it's not something to be fucking sneezed at. It, it'll fucking slap you around a little bit, yeah. And when you pour a fresh bottle of that, it, it's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. It does open up really nicely, but yeah, if you pour that thing thinking you're going to have a, a nice little light space on it, it, uh, it lets you know. How would you yep. compare it to the Abelor Abunda? Um, well, the, the 105 is one that didn't, didn't... The only whiskey that I've ever had that I... From when I popped the cork and had the first fucking nose and sip on it, that's the only one, the Abelou Abana, is the only one I went, whoa, this has got some fucking kick. Uh -huh. It's the only one that's actually, because I don't, I'm not sensitive to ABV, as in it doesn't really affect me, like, unlike Scotty and 
some of the expressions with the cue ball are the same. They get the ABV. Doesn't worry me. But the 105, it's definitely got some kick in it. Like if you if you have that and you're like, it's, it's pretty fucking strong. As in, it's very, um, I wouldn't say stringent, but it's it's got some punch behind it. Whereas the Abelou, um, Abano, that first sip I had out of it, I'm like, holy fuck. Okay, this this is this is packing a punch. <laughs> but the 105, yeah, it didn't give me that effect, but it definitely let me know that you know this is not something you just fucking happily sip away and, and walk away from it without fucking going tits up and place plant somewhere. Might <laughs> <laughs> well, have to. Um, I do have the Abunda, so I might have to crack that open. Yeah, I mean the Abunda. It's good. Once it gets down a little bit, it's, it's perfectly fine. I've never had that problem with it ever since. I mean, it's, it was only oh, yeah. that first initial pop, poured it, went. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's got a bit of AV, and then I had that first sip and JD went, JD Bourbon Approach. Okay. Just said it's pours like a high cask strength bourbon, but finishes like scotch I can keep for life. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And with a little bit of water or let it open up in the glass, it's a really quite pleasant little dram that AVB just carries through that lovely um, Glenn Clarkless sherry finish all the way through. Yeah. Okay, officially bottled down the Archie Rose Rhyme. Another bottle. That's the second bottle tonight. You've killed. Good man. Bye bye, bottle. Yep. Bye bye. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All the fond memories you gave us. <laughs> well, I've actually had it for pretty much a year, maybe more. Fuck, that's different. In a good way. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, that's the. Um, what are you having? The mesquite. Yeah, the mesquite. It's it's fucking yeah, unique. It's I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I had it a couple of days ago, and yeah, it was weird. It is in a, in a good way. It, it, it's um, yeah. it's very JD iconically Bourbon Australian. Approach. Just said I did not enjoy adding water to the glass. Neat was perfect. Yeah, I mean I like adding water just to. I don't do yeah. it too much on the live streams, but when, it, when I'm assessing a whiskey, I like to add water and, and just see what it does and opens up and stuff. And, you know, some whiskies are really dynamic and they change and others are just turn into shit and others you just get that typical malty, woody kind of finish to it. But yeah, with something like the 105 or the Abelure, I wouldn't be okay in uh, not, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't be offended with adding whiskey to it. I mean, pfft. Yeah. We'll start again. <laughs> <laughs> the Abelou Abana and the Glen Flakers 105, I'm not offended by adding water to it. I think it, it, it can definitely help. Yeah. Yeah. Only a little bit, though. Just a couple of drops. That's all you need. Just enough to... Uh... Unless you want to, you know... I, I'm kind of impatient. I haven't got time to let it sit in the glass for 20 minutes to let it open up. But you can add a little bit of water and get the same kind of effect. Not exactly the same, but it is same-ish. Yeah, I do like this. It tickles my nose in all the right ways. <laughs> Well, if you are a, a rye fiend and you ever get the chance to try the Archie Rose rye, do it. It's my favourite rye whiskey ever. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I haven't. I've only had a few American ryes. I have never tried an Australian rye, so. Oh no! Yeah, if you ever get the chance, if you ever see the bottle, just do it. JD Bourbon Approach. Just said I have a nice cat's eye whiskey with an ABV of 72%. Hazmat for sure. 
I will try it with water just because of the ABV. Uh, yeah. I think I would be adding a little bit of... I'd try it neat as well, but I'd yeah, still yeah, be adding yeah. a little bit of water to 72% ABV. <laughs> yeah, that's getting fucking try serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have that little sip of neat, get your fucking eyeballs blown out the back of your skull, and then go, okay, that was an experience, and then just <laughs> drop it down a little bit just to see what happens. Wow. 72%. I don't think it's going to stay that long in the bottle at 72%. I think that's going to fucking oxidize quite rapidly. <laughs> I mean, I've had 69.5. That was the lime burners. Yeah, the that lime burners. Yep. I had that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that. On the nose and palate, you would not pick that at 69.5. You wouldn't, no, no. No, no way in hell. You could blind pour me that so the cows come home, put a gun to my fucking face, and have some hot blonde chick like out of that movie. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm talking about? Yep. <laughs> He's got to hack that shit. Yeah, you could do that, and I would still say it was fucking 48 or something. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's magic of that's my it. Burners. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'd love to be able to find a bottle of that. It's amazing. Doesn't drink as hot as you think. Exactly. Some some whiskies just do not come across at that high of a bit, and that's when you know it's a good fucking whiskey. Yeah. Because you can get some cheap, nasty stuff, yeah. If it's at a higher BV, it's just ethanol. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's something that has that really strong ABV, prime example, those lime bonus. Yep. You know? Yep. And they just do not, no matter what you do, they just do not come... Like, even the guys when we did the blight, there was four of us here and we drank that and not one of us, well... I knew what it was, but none of those guys picked it at 69.5. Oh, yeah, no. Man, it's easy to distill something with a high ABV. It tastes like mm -hmm. shit. That's fucking child's play. Yeah. And that's why it comes down to the quality of the ingredient and the method they use to distill. <clears throat> yeah, like all the ingredients, cutting, yep. all the fermentation, and then how you're casking it, what you're yep. casking it in, and how long you cask it, and what you finish it in, if you finish it, all those. Yep, that's exactly it. Yep, everything, yep. The art of distilling. It's science and magic at the same fucking time. Yeah. That's what's so cool about it. Like with that, the, um, what do you call it? With the lime burners, 69.5%. Um, Instead of going down in ABV, he went up. Yeah. In that climate, yeah. it's meant to do the opposite, and that, yeah. yeah, that one went up. And that's so cool. Yeah, yeah it lost water content. Damn. Which is rare Regret for a place like too. Albany. <laughs> a place like Albany to fucking lose water content instead of ABV is like, really? Yeah. Yeah. No, Shit. very cool, very cool. Ten people watching, wow. I did see it. Yeah, yeah. I did see a post earlier. Um, Lime Burners, on their social media, they had uh, talking about the darkest winter. Oh. Yeah, I've got to get another one. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind getting one of their yeah. latest ones. Yeah, I wonder, yeah. JD Bourbon Approach. Just said it, Bourbon Neophyte hit me up. 
and I will help you location one from California. It's called Obtainum Canadian Whiskey at 129 US dollars. My shop also has Polish rye 57.5% ABV and light whiskey 69.6%. Ooh, sounds nice. Yeah. Yeah, that Obtainum light whiskey, I keep fucking... Um... I keep seeing people talking about that, and I'm like, yeah, that'd be nice to get a fucking little sippy sip of that. <laughs> that Obtainium. Yeah. I want that Obtainium port finish, though. Ooh. That's the one I'm fucking... The one Jason just did on his flight. That's the one I want to fucking try. Geez, that rye is good. Mm. Yep. Yeah, I haven't tried any Aussie rye. Really good stuff. No, Archie Rose make pretty good shit. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. They're I mean, a little they're... pricey, but they make good yeah. shit. No, they're... Yeah, yeah. It's... Ooh, I mean, I've had quite a few American rise and so far this is favorite. Yep. 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 I can only get that. Mm. Alrighty. I did say I was going to kill it at fucking five hours. That was an hour ago. And then I said I was going to kill it at two o'clock and it's now almost half past two. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'll officially... Uh, Knock it in the head. Uh, I'm working on the angle to pick up somehow. I'll keep that in mind. Emails, blah blah blah. blah, blah. Thank you. Nice. Oh, someone else just popped in. Who's that? Say hi. Well, that was a pretty good fucking stream for reopening the pub after four days and no fucking power. Oh, Cheech is in the house. Good day, Cheech. Welcome back. Good day. James Morgan. Oh, and James just popped in. Yep. Good day, James. <laughs> You'll have to delay. Can you see him again? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you in the streams earlier. Earlier today, my time. Yesterday, your time. How's fucking London treating you at the moment? Fucking cold. Mm. Is it starting to heat up? Should be fucking heat up. Special now for 100 total for both light whiskey and polish fry without shipping. Fuck. Mm. Not a bus. Mm. Good. Cheech is driving. Stay safe, man. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm going to kick this in the guts. Enough. So I'm not sure if I'll be streaming before our Star Trek inaugural episode. It should be 11pm Eastern Standard Time. Oh, sorry, 11 a.m. Saturday, Eastern Standard Time. 11 p.m. Western Standard Time here in Australia. So, Saturday, yep. Yep, yeah, Saturday night, 11 o'clock our time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, fair enough. Nice and sunny, but only 10 degrees. Yeah, it's a bit crispy. I mean, Simon's probably fucking nudging that. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's fucking cold down here. <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite nice here. Yeah. It's it's good temperature. It's not cold. It's not hot. It's just really? normal. Yep, ideal human operating temperature. That's how I would describe it. Yep, JD, I will certainly let you know once I talk to the missus. Um, I'll definitely sort that out. That might be a Sunday night stream, maybe. Have we'll to see. Work out the logistics on that one. Alright guys, 
I'll call it quits, otherwise I'll be here for another five hours and then I'll be in the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Slanch, y'all. Yeah. Cheers for joining us in the reopening of the Fan Deacon Month of Pub, and we'll catch you next time and stay safe. Until next time, yeah. Slanch. Cheers. Yeah. Slanch.